Brown Jr. from Jackson, Mississippi, wearing number five. And your right cornerback is Ryan Thayard. He is a 6'2", 195-pound senior from New Orleans, Louisiana, wearing number 28. And that defense coach still getting better and better. Jackson State defense coming into this game ranked eighth in the conference, but they have been getting better of late. And they have, Coach. They've been doing a great job. The positive thing is they've stopped the run. And when you can stop the run or, or limit the rushes and the yardage, that, the yards that your opponent is normally getting, I think you're doing a good job right there. And that's what the, the ins and outs have to be. We really had to stop the run, and we've done a great job of that. And I Southern, that thank you for your courtesy. Your place kicker for Jackson State is Adrian Salazar, a six foot, 170 pound senior from Charlotte, North Carolina. Salazar wears number 47. Now, the he's been dealing with a few nagging injuries. Coach told me last week that he was Peter rolled in that game against Alabama AM. I said, What's that, Coach? He said he got rolled over. Yeah, he ran over, Coach. Yeah, he Peter rolled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said, still looking for the tag number that he is. So. Coach, that's not nice to say, Coach. Said, At this time, like, ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you focus your attention to the 50-yard line. I really hate that because he's a really good kicker, Coach, and he got Peter Rowe. <laughs> Jordan <laughs> Jefferson is being escorted to the field by his parents, Joe and Tiffany Jefferson, his brother Jones and sister Kennedy, and by Bridget Archer. Jefferson is a Jackson native and is a proud Callaway High School graduate. Jordan will be in Birmingham next weekend for his Rhodes Scholarship interview and will not be able to celebrate his senior day with his teammates. The Rhodes Scholarship is a hallmark award for international studies with past recipients, including former President Bill Clinton, MSNBC show host Rachel Maddow, Beautiful U.S. Senator Saturday Cory Booker and NFL Jackson, player Myron Rowe. Jefferson began the process as just State one of approximately 2,500 applicants. The respective institution endorsed six, 960 University of those applicants. In place in the those Western 960 division, were just beginning the process. That list was cut down by roughly 75% with 15 now, American finalists per 16 different U.S. districts. Jordan Jefferson said this happen. opportunity could super All evaluate what I'm Alabama trying to do in life. I happen. would be attaining a degree Correct. from one of the best universities in the world. It will help develop week. my ideologies regarding happen. domestic change. I would and also Jackson be State studying with like-minded individuals and make major professional connections. Ladies and gentlemen, continues. let's give a standing ovation for Jackson native and Rhodes Scholar that, candidate that, that Jordan Jefferson. Alabama State plays Florida State. That's all I'm going to say about that. We'll take a break and, and we're going to come back. 35-12 right now. <laughs>
back to Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium. Our countdown to kickoff continues here. We are moments away from kickoff. Today's game between Jackson State and Southern University. Again, beautiful day here in Jackson. Sunny today. Highs in the middle 50s. Wind blowing out of the north at 6 miles an hour. It is 42 degrees right now, but it feels like 38. Your temperature is brought to you by Porter's Insurance on University Boulevard. Let's check in now with the third member of our broadcast team, Jamie Horton, who's down on the field. Jamie, how are you? I'm, I'm good, Ron. How you doing? DA, what's going on, buddy? What's going on, buddy? All right, Brown. What's going on, man? Right now, <laughs> both bands are playing. It's a lot of hype. As you know, Khalil Johnson will not play again today. Also, uh, number 12, Kevin, I think Bretherith is his last name. He has been cleared to play. Of course, he's been out all year with an injury, but today he makes his return uh, for the final two games of the year. Also, there was a little uh, melee before the uh, during the pregame warm-ups. Apparently, Southern football players was uh, coming through some of Jackson State warm-ups. Uh, Jackson State players took offense to that. Little words was exchanged. Little fists were thrown. So now, down here, there's a lot of police presence. Um, officials and the SWAC officials, along with the JSU and Southern officials, have been talking about uh, keeping the peace for right now. The uh, officials, of course, would say they would not um, tolerate any extracurricular activity at all. They would call for suspension or ejection from the game. All right, Jamie. Uh, so no one suspended, did they say, or ejected from before this game starts? Not that I know of right now, Rob. We're still getting a uh, few details. Right now I'm trying to find out some other information about what's going on. But it was a long conference between the two schools, the officials, uh, about what happened before. Apparently Southern, from what I understand, started it. So as of right now, no suspension as of right now. But if some come available, I'll let you know. All right. Thank you, Jamie. Good job as always. Jamie Horton with all of that information uh, telling us that Kevin Berthy, the defensive back, will start uh, or, or play, at least play, in this game this evening, Coach. Yeah, yeah, because that's a good thing. At least he gets to come back and finish the season out strong. And if we're fortunate enough and all those things happen that you just talked about, he'll get an opportunity to play this first wide championship game. Hey, Coach, you mentioned, uh, you know, we... we uh, Sonic Boom, please hold your playing. Earlier in the pregame show about... Please hold, Hayes thank you. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you uh, to today's game happened. featuring the uh, visiting Jaguars week, of Southern University. Where it's a big blow, Coach, because Glass has been making a lot of plays. Uh, he, he's been a productive on the football field. And his presence, you know, it makes his presence known when he's on the field. Uh, but I'm sure Jackson State, Coach Henderson, him, had some adjustments they had to make. And, you know, as a program, you have to make the adjustments while, you know, they clean up that matter that he's dealing with. Yeah. And uh, Khalil Arrington uh, should start in place of Glass. So uh, we will uh, keep an eye on that. Right now, let's go down on the field for the prayer and the national anthem. Our brothers to dwell together in unity. Psalms 133. Gracious God, we welcome your presence into this place and we say thank you. Thank you for the many blessings you have given and continue to give us. Thank you for the heritage, hope, and opportunities that Jackson State University and both Southern University provide. Thank you thank for, this, you for wonderful this wonderful day, day for football. For football. We ask we for your grace and your mercy to serve, to serve as a source, a source of, inspiration, of inspiration, safety, safety and, protection and protection for those who report and provide leadership for the game, for those who play the game, and for those in the stands and at home watching the game. May the passion, support, and unity that we display on the field and stadium spill over into how we uplift our campus and our community for your glory. In Christ's master's name we pray. Amen, 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 and I say
Coach, we're about to get this thing underway, as you said. Yeah, Coach is about to get going. They go to blue and white. <laughs> Trying to get it going, Coach. Nice crowd on hand here at Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium and fans still coming into this game. Jackson State leads the FCS in attendance, and that game and that uh, attendance will continue to increase with this game and the game next week. Let's take a break. We're going to come back as we continue our countdown to kickoff on the Tiger Sports Network. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi partners with our communities to promote living healthy. With the compassion of the cross and the security of the shield, we're empowering you to take control of your personal wellness journey and to find the joy of being active at every age and helping you build proud, healthy communities with a heart of hospitality because it's about you, your health, your life. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi. It's good to be blue. Hi, this is Attorney Richard Schwartz. Me and my entire staff are dedicated to helping our Mississippi neighbors get the most money they deserve after a car, truck, or motorcycle wreck. You know the insurance company is not on your side. That's why it's important to get your attorney working for you right away. It's always free to talk to us, so the only thing you got to remember is one call, that's all. Call me, Richard Schwartz, at 601-988-8888. Or visit us online at onecall.ms. Beautiful Saturday afternoon here as we are moments away from kickoff of today's very important SWAC matchup between Jackson State and Southern University. A loss today for JSU would end their hopes of the SWAC East crown but a win would uh, keep JSU's hopes alive especially with a win by um, Alcorn over Alabama A&M and uh, Alabama State is playing out of the conference today they're playing uh, Florida State so why are they down there fooling with them people they have no business <laughs> over there messing with them people coach <laughs> coach it's like that <laughs> movie Friday coach I told you about coming up and messing with these people you have a score in that game coach 35-12 coach First, second quarter. Who has 35? <laughs> Florida State. Coach. It's not as bad as I thought. Though, coach. Not yet. <laughs> nice crowd here at Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium. Beautiful day again. Temperature is 42 degrees, and it feels like 38 there, Coach. Correction, Coach. 42 to 12. Oh, they just scored. <laughs> I, but you know, I, I don't know how they how they playing a game like that this late in the season with two games left. I don't know, coach. I, I, especially if you you know you're working on trying to build your program the right way, but that game can't help you, coach. Wow. Yeah. Hopefully for Alabama State, no player gets uh, injured uh, in that game. So uh, again, Alabama State playing Florida State today. <laughs> Alcorn playing Alabama A and M. If you coach Hendrick, how do you keep from watching the scoreboard, especially with Alabama and and Alcorn? Well, right now, Coach, you know, if you coach Hendrick, you have your hands full with Southern University. He understands the magnitude behind this game. We went down to Baton Rouge last year. Southern just embarrassed us. They tried to run the score up on us, Coach. And, you know, this team didn't come out pregame warm-up. They tried to intimidate us and, and walk up and down our sideline. But they forgot one thing, Coach. The game is played between the lines. I hear you, Coach. Southern University will be wearing their Columbia blue shirts and Columbia blue pants. Gold numbers on those shirts and the white helmets with the SU logo. Jackson State in their blue shirts, the white numbers, the blue pants, and the blue helmets. Jackson State and Southern University getting set to face each other. They say that these two teams hate each other because they're just alike. (laughs) Both teams, uh, both schools are prestigious and both teams with winning traditions in several sports, and, and they hate each other. They, they're just alike. Coach. Just alike. Two great bands. You know what I mean? It's all. It, it's like big brother against little brother. You know? And we know who the big brother is. <laughs> <laughs> now, Southern University leads the series 35-29. to 29. They have not lost to Jackson State since 2013. Jackson State went through those lean years, and um, Coach Hendry trying to get this team back on track. Jackson State football this season brought to you 
by Jackson State University. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or any use of today's broadcast without the express written consent from Jackson State University is prohibited. Now let's pause 10 seconds for your station identification. No trouble, no get yourself in no trouble doing nothing stupid, all right? Yes, sir. All right, all right. With the Let's go down on the field now for the corn toss. Congratulations on being voted captains of your team. I got you guys being the visitors. You're going to call this corn heads the tails? We call them the swag heads. We call them the 150 tails, okay? What do you call it? Heads. He's calling heads, okay? I'll let it drop, guys. Let's you welcome heads your and it is Tigers heads. of Jackson State. You want to defer your options in the second half? The other one that tosses one to defer? You want to right? Which way you want to kick? All right, Southern has won the toss and has elected to put its defense on the field first. So Jackson State's offense will go on the field, Coach, and that may bode well because JSU can't throw the ball on this Southern defense, which uh, comes into this game ranked near, near the bottom in the conference. No question, Coach. I mean, you can feel the energy all the way up here in the press box, Coach. You get the goosebumps. I mean, the game has so much excitement, Coach. You know, it, it's just time to play some football right now. All right, again, let's pause 10 seconds for your station identification. This is the Tiger Sports Network. Can you come? <laughs> Jimmy, can you come and get, can you come and get Asbury? Because he is grabbing me and tackling me like he's about to play. Man, I don't play no football, man. <laughs> I'm calling the police. You hit me like that again. Yeah, the flashback, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just a grab me and go tackle me. <laughs> it's time to play some football, Coach. Coach, I'm calling the police. Right. So I'm going to do you like the man from the Cleveland Brown. <laughs> go give me a helmet, bro. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we're about to get this one underway, Coach, again. You said it, Southern embarrassed Jackson State a year ago. And that's what they like to do. They will kick it away. It is a, a windy day. Wind blowing out of the north at 9 miles an hour. So that makes the wind chill feel like 38 degrees. It is 42 degrees. So it is a cold. I won't say cold, but it's a cool day yeah. uh, down on the field there, Coach. Yeah, it is, Coach. It's a cool day. I mean, the field, we walk the field. The field is in great shape to play on. And I mean, I, I'm just... Excited for both teams, Coach. I mean, each, each fan. Josh Little back deep to receive for right, the Tigers Jack of Jackson Walsh State. Away. Josh along with back Vincent deep McIntyre. To return for Jackson State. We ready. We ready. We ready. Oh, yeah. Come on. We ready. We'll kick it away for the Jaguars. And it is fielded at the four for the Tigers. He's up to the 20 and dropped down at the 24 yard line. This return is to the 24-yard line. Nice Tigers return Jackson for Jackson State, State on the First return and for 10. the Tigers. Was well, Jayshon Baker. First down and 10. Jalen Jones will come in at quarterback for the Tigers as Jackson State operates from left to right. We are just underway here at Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium. Jackson State on offense to start this ball game. From its own 24-yard line. Terrell Kennedy stretched out wide to the right. You have one back at the far side of the field. That's D.D. Bowie. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. Jalen Jones in the shotgun, a back standing to his left shoulder. Man in motion from right to left. They'll hand it off. To Harper up the middle, and he goes! Harper across midfield. Harper is at the 30, 20, 15, pushed out of bounds at the 11-yard line. A great start for the Tigers. Southern came out in that 3-2-3-3 defense, and Jackson State gashed him with that inside zone, Coach. Jamie, what a big run for Jackson State. Yeah, that was a great run by Keyshawn that time, and that's what they were talking about earlier, about starting fast, and that's exactly what they just did, Rob. That first down brought to you by... Pizza Hut, they're inside the Penn Street Investments red zone. Jackson State at the Jaguars, 11. Jalen will fake the handoff. Jalen will go inside the 10, and he's brought down at the six-yard line. Southern quickly got out of that 3-3 defense and jumped to a 4-2 look, and Jalen ran that outside zone read and kept it on that one, Coach. Wow, Jackson State 
off to a fantastic start in this ball game as they have it second down and about five at the Jaguars six yard line. Jalen Jones hands it to Keyshawn Harper and he is caught in the backfield and brought down for a loss back to the nine yard line. Just tried to run inside zone again. Southern got off to a fast start on the offensive line on that particular play. Jackson State started at the 24. Now they have it at the Jaguars' nine-yard line. It is third down and about seven to go for JSU. The Tigers can pick up a first down at the three-yard line of the Jaguars. JSU operating from left to right. Jalen Jones, the quarterback, just underway here in the first quarter of this ball game. Southern won the toss. They like to put their defense on the field, and JSU has gashed that defense. Jalen tosses the fade right in the end zone. This shit, oh, is batted down. In the end zone, he was looking for a Crowell. And it's batted down in the in back of the end zone. Fourth down, they're going to go for the field goal right here. But they had to fade. The ball was underthrown. Receiver had him beat quarterback. Just need to throw it to the back pylon. All right, this will be a 25-yard field goal attempt, making a 26-yard field goal attempt. Jordan Johnson will hold now. Salazar will kick from the right hash mark. Jackson State looking to take the lead early in this ball game. There's a snap. Ball placed down. The kick is up. High enough, and it is good. Jackson State jumps on the board first after that 25-yard field goal that is brought to you by AARP Mississippi. We're back after this on the Tiger Sports Network. kickoff it goes out of bounds at the one yard line so a penalty flag comes in for that the Barian profit was back deep for the Jaguars but the ball goes out of bounds and it's going to give Southern good field position there coach yeah it will coach I thought it was going to just die dead from looking at it up here right on about the one and a half yard line but it, it went on out of bounds on us so the Jaguars on offense for the first time in the ball game Ladarius Skelton is a quarterback as the Jaguars will start from their own 35-yard line. Southern again coming into this ball game, ranked third in the conference in offense, and they can run the football. Skelton is a running quarterback, so you have to deal with him. Three-man front for Jackson State. Tigers in that 3-4 defense, and the official stop play for the moment for the snap of the football. Nice crowd on hand here at Memorial Stadium, and they're continuing to come in here. The officials see what's going on. Yeah. Check in with Jamie and see what's going on. Well, Rob, I don't know what's going. The officials just stopped the clock to reset something. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on. But right now, the the defensive coaches are telling the defense before they went out there that they want to turn over. So we'll see if they can get this uh, turnover and get us the ball back. Jaguars operating from right to left. Skelton, the quarterback in the shotgun, man in motion from left to right. Skelton fakes the handoff. He's going to go up the middle, finds a big hole. Skelton slips a tackle. He's across midfield. He's in the Jackson State territory, pushed out of bounds on the far side at the Tigers' 35-yard line. Just ran a, a fake speed sweep left and ran quarterback power to the right. That's the same play that they got after us on a lot last year. A 
30-yard gain for Skelton on that play. Bringing up first down and 10 from the Jackson State 36-yard line. Skelton again will keep it. Going off that right side, and he takes it inside the Tigers' 30-yard line and pushed down at about the 28. Again, Southern went unbalanced to the right. Jackson State State in that 3-3 defense. He's going to have to come out of that defense because he's outflanked to the top of the screen to Southern sideline. I think we had a penalty on that play, Coach. Yeah, we did, Coach. That was our Richard Schwartz. You make the right call. That penalty was against Southern University, so they're going to bring that back. So good news for Jackson State on that play. Skelton, a 6'2", 210-pound junior from Pine Bluff, Arkansas. So it's going to push Southern back at the Jackson State 46. Skelton again in the shotgun. Two receivers to the right for the Jaguars. Now a man in motion from right to left. He's going to hand it off. And around that corner he goes on the carry for the Jaguars. Jamar Washington, the receiver from Alexandria, Louisiana, goes out of bounds at about the 30-yard line. They jumped out of that to a 4-2 defense, but my end, the southern sideline, got reached that time, Coach, which caused him to be able to get to the outside. They mark it at the JSU 37-yard line, so it's second down and 11 for the Jaguars. Skelton again in the shotgun here on second and 11. Skelton takes a snap, has time, plenty of time, throws across the middle. The catch is made. It's going to be knocked down at the 30-yard line. So it's going to bring a third down and about four, a long four for the Jaguars. Good job, Jack. Stay rallying to the football right there. Six-yard pickup on the play. Jaguars at the Tigers, 31-yard line. JSU three, Southern nothing. Under 12 minutes to go here in the first quarter. Skelton, the quarterback. He's got a back standing to his left shoulder. Skelton takes a snap. Here comes the pressure. Skelton steps up, and he steps out of a tackle, and he is going to run for the first down inside the 20. He's inside the 10 and pushed out of bounds at the Jackson State six-yard line. This guy is incredible to stop, Coach. Yeah, Coach, he's more of a running quarterback. He, what he did, he let everybody get downfield and it opened up all the defensive backs when coverage. He pulled it down and ran it. Got to find a way to stop him, Jamie. He, and, and he's a big quarterback too, Rob. He's, he's very mobile and he's quick, and he also has an arm. So Jack State's defense had their work cut out for them today. Skelton in the shotgun on first and goal from the JSU six-yard line. Make it to seven. Skelton will take the snap, and he's going to keep the football, and this time he goes – nowhere. C.J. Anderson brings him down at the nine-yard line. Coach, they, they believe in just trying to run this quarterback, Coach, but what will, what will change his mind is one good hit, Coach. That will slow him down because <laughs> most quarterbacks don't like to get hit, Coach. Yeah, he's a big old boy. Kind of reminds you of uh, Grambling's quarterback a few years ago, Bruce. Big old Bruce. Remember him? Yeah, Not as, as big far as running yeah. was. All right, second and goal from the JSU 9. Jaguars from right to left. Skelton remains in the shotgun formation. They fake the handoff. Skelton will keep it, trying to take it around the left side, and he's brought down again. No gain. I think that was Thayard bringing him down. Correct. They are, Coach. They're trying to fake the speed sweep left at Jackson State sideline and quarterback power to the same direction. Jackson State did a good job of stringing that thing out. This is third down and goal for the Jaguars from the Jackson State Six-yard line. Jackson State leading it 3 nothing. Under 10 minutes to go here in the first quarter. Skelton, the quarterback. Two receivers to the right, one to the left for the Jaguars. That was a man in motion now from left to right. He fakes the handoff. Skelton in trouble, throws, and it is caught in the end zone for the touchdown. Just a little play action, Coach. Speed sweep to the right. Skelton kind of faded to the right, and they dragged the tight end back cross to the left. Touchdown. Tyler Rogers gave that touchdown up that time. Hunter Register, the receiver, making a catch in the end zone for the touchdown. Skelton was in trouble, but managed to buy some time and pass it in for the touchdown. Jaguars take a 6-3 lead, pending the outcome of this point after. Nine twenty-four to go. 
The red cap already on the field. Get out, get out the way, man. Not time for you yet. <laughs> Who is this red cap? Who is Got to kick it, huh? <laughs> Got to kick it first. Who's operating? I don't know. Bless his heart. And the point after is up, and it is good. Jaguars take a 7-3 lead with 9.24 to go in the first quarter. We're back after this. We're going out there now, red cap. At C Spire, we love to root for Mississippi's future. Technology will power amazing career opportunities for our children. But today, less than 18% of our public high schools offer computer science. That has to change. The C Spire tech movement works with parents, educators, and influencers to advocate for computer science in each classroom. Let's build a future where Mississippi isn't just keeping up. It's leading the way. Learn more at cspire.com slash tech movement. If you want an adventure, you can climb a mountain or ride two buggies through the desert. Or you could just head to your neighborhood Zaxby's. Introducing the Smokehouse Cheddar Barbecue and Southwest Chipotle Filet Sandwich Meals. They're brand new and they'll take your taste buds to wild and exciting new places. Both feature our famous hand breaded chicken and they're both available for a limited time. Only at your neighborhood Zaxby's. And don't miss Jumanji the next level, only in theaters. On the kickoff, Southern did a great job of coverage as the Tigers will start deep in his own end at the 15-yard line. First down and 10 for Jackson State. The Tigers jumped out to a 3-0 lead as Southern held JSU down near the goal line, and the Tigers were forced to kick a 25-yard field goal. So the Tigers now will start first down and 10 from their own 15. 9, 17 to go here in the first quarter. Jalen Jones remains in at quarterback. He will hand it off to Harper. Harper tries to reverse his field and manages to pick up about four yards on the play to the 20-yard line. Jackson State was trying to run the outside zone to their sideline, but Southern kept stringing it out, and Harper did a good job of reversing the field getting downhill. Jackson State again moving the ball from left to right. Tigers trail 7-3 to the Jaguars with 8.54 to go here in the first quarter. Tigers in their blue jerseys. White numbers, blue pants, white stripe, and the blue helmets. As the tight end in motion from right to left, and they give it to Harper. Harper trying to go off that right tackle, and he is close to a first down, depending on where they mark it. He had to take it to the 25, and he may be about a yard short there, Coach. Yeah, he may be a yard short, Coach. Southern back out in that 3-3 defense, and they came right back and ran that inside zone again. You know, Jack State is a zone power team. Third down and one, Jackson State coming into this game ranked eighth in the conference in third down conversions, 33% for the season. Southern leading the league in third down conversions. So this may be a long game for the Tigers here. Third and one for JSU. Jalen Jones, a quarterback in the shotgun, takes a snap. Oh, that is a big first down by Harper. And he picked up the first down and then some as he takes it across the 30 to the 35-yard line. First down brought to you by Pizza Hut. Good job just running that inside zone, Coach. This offensive and defensive line are getting after real fast tonight, Coach. Jackson State and Southern, the teams were involved in a skirmish before this game started during warm-ups. So it's first down for the Tigers from their own 35-yard line. Kobe Gates. In motion from left to right. They'll hand it off again. Harper in the backfield. He's in big, big trouble, and down he goes. Loses two yards back to the 33-yard line. I tell you what, Coach, you know, they, they contend to trying to run that outside zone, but Southern is doing a great job of containing that zone, and it's causing Harper to have to cut back to the opposite side of the field. Southern is ranked first in the league in rushing defense, Coach, coming into this game. They give up only 102 yards per game this season. So it's second down and 11. Jones back to throw. Fires. The catch is made by D.D. Bowie at the first down. Strike! Bowie breaks out of a tackle and picks up an additional 10 yards to the Jaguars' 45-yard line. Good see, job Coach. of just throwing the hitch route like we talked about over the break, Coach. Get Bowie in space, give him the hitch route, and let him use his speed. The defensive back is playing about eight to nine yards off. Another first down brought to you by Pizza Hut. They marked this 
at the Jackson State 48-yard line. So it's first and 10 for the Tigers, just shy of midfield. Jones again, fakes the handoff. Jones will fake the run, throws underneath to Terrell Kennedy. And he picks up about eight yards on that play. Just for an injured player down on the field for Southern. It looked like that's just that RPO coach faked the zone. Kennedy found a little spot to sit in for the first down right there. Kyle McGregor of Southern, the linebacker, looked like he was injured or he may have been upset. I think he may have been more upset than hurt, Coach. <laughs> Jackson yeah. State at the Jaguars, 41. This is the seventh play of the drive for Jackson State. They started at the Tigers, 15. Gates again, gets set. As they give it to Harper. Harper trying to take it up the middle, and this time he is stopped. Still fighting, though, for additional yardage. On the tackle for the Jaguars is Calvin Lunkins, the senior linebacker from New Orleans, Louisiana. Yeah, Coach Harper, you know, he, that second effort that he gives you, it, it gets him those extra yards right there. Jackson State getting closer and closer to the Penn Street Investments red zone. Coming up on six minutes to go here in the first quarter. Southern seven, Jackson State three. Second down and seven for JSU. Jones back to throw. And the catch is made by Crowell, and he's brought down right at the first down marker at the 30-yard line. Another First down brought to you by Pizza Hut. Coach, that's a good job of Jalen Jones. His poise has gotten so much better in the pocket. He ran two go routes to his left and, and brought the receiver across his face. His poise in the pocket, he got the football off. Great job. Tigers at the Jaguars, 30-yard line. First down and 10 for Jackson State. Jones rolls to his right, looking, looking. Throws along the right side. He's got a man open, but he was out of bounds. Crowell made the catch at about the 11-yard line, but he was out of bounds, Coach. Yeah, Coach, he bought himself some time. I just need a receiver to go to the end zone. The other ones, they were trying to come back to him and make some plays, but somebody has to go deep. But he did a great job of buying himself some time. This is the 10th play of this drive that started back at JSU's 15-yard line. It is second down and 10 from the Southern 30-yard line. Coming up on five minutes to go here in the first quarter. Jalen Jones, the quarterback in the shotgun. Hands it off. Nice hold by Harper inside the 20, inside the 15, down to the 14. Jackson State inside that Penn Street Investments red zone, and it's another Pizza Hut first down. Good job running that inside zone, Coach. Jackson State is big on that zone, and good job perfecting that zone with those offensive linemen. Jackson State continues to move the ball towards the goal line. First down and 10, JSU from the Southern 14. Jones will roll to his left. Jones running inside the 10 and pushed out of bounds at the five-yard line. Did a good job, that zone read, the RPO piece of it. He just kept it that time himself, Coach. Maybe about a yard short or two yards short of the first down. They mark it at the six-yard line, so it is second down and one. For Jackson State at the Southern, 6, 4.36 to go here in the first quarter. Jalen Jones back in the shotgun. He has Harper standing to his right shoulder. Takes the snap. Jones in trouble, and he's going to just throw it up. It is almost intercepted, an ill-advised throw, as he just tried to get it out of his hands, and he just lobbed it up in the air, Coach. Yeah, he just got to go ahead and take the sack, protect the football. He had it just hanging out, and he just threw it in the air. You cannot do that as a young quarterback or as a quarterback, period. The fans are just waiting to explode for a touchdown, Coach. Nice crowd here at Memorial Stadium. Well, I tell you what, God, Southern dude. brings the crowd, don't they, Coach? They do, Coach. They don't outdo Jackson State. Nah, they, they, they thin over there right now. Yeah, coach. they look thin over there, Coach. This is the 13th play of this drive for Jackson State that started back at the Tigers' 15. They have it third and two from the Jaguars' eight. Jones claps his hands, takes the snap, gives it to Harper. Harper inside the five, fighting, and he's down to the three-yard line, and that is a first down for the Tigers. Good job, Coach. Just getting behind those big offensive linemen, just running straight power on the inside, Coach, getting the first down. Now you have an opportunity, three-down territory, to get the ball in the end zone. We need a touchdown right here. All right, Jamie Jackson State with a good drive here. You, you got to give to the offensive line, Rob. They're really, really stepping up to the plate and protecting uh, – 
Jalen and making some holes for the running backs. But the coaches over here say they want a touchdown, no field goal. They want a touchdown. I was about to say the same thing. I don't want no field goal, Coach. Yeah, Coach, they need a touchdown. The fans on the edge of the seat, Coach. Under four minutes to go here in the first. Jones fakes the handoff. Jones looking, throws in the end zone. It is incomplete on a flag down. This is going to be pass interference against Southern University. Back defending for the Jaguars was O.J. Tucker. O.J. had his gloves on and was called for pass interference. <laughs> And that was That's Terrell defense. Kennedy. Defense number 26. Foul occurred in the end zone. It'll be first and goal on the two-yard line. I'm sorry. That was. I'm sorry, O.J. If, if you're the family of O.J. Tucker, I apologize. It was on Tamar Smith, the sophomore from Mobile. See, Southern got these bright yellow numbers on a light blue jersey, man. Yeah, they do you can't cool. see what these numbers are. Who designed this? All right, first and goal for the Tigers from the two. They give it to Harper. Harper is stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain. Wow. Big old boy that made that tackle, Coach. That was C.J. Bryant. It was, Coach. i tell you what, Coach. They, they're probably going to come back and run that outside zone or move the pocket here with Jalen and give him a chance to throw it or run it. That's been the strength on this drive. Jackson State at the Jaguars, two-yard line. Second down and goal for Jackson State. They trail 7-3. Coming up on three minutes to go here in the first quarter. Jalen Jones, the quarterback. He has Keyshawn Harper to his right. Dee Dee Bowie stretched out wide to the left, along with Terrell Kennedy. Now Kennedy in motion from left to right. Jones with the fade route to Bowie, and he makes the catch in the end zone. What a catch by Bowie! <laughs> Wow! That's what I'm talking about, Coach. Get the ball in his hands, throw the fade, touchdown. Jamie, what a catch by Bowie in the back of the end zone. Yes, yes, it was, Rob, and it was a great catch and also a great throw by uh, Jalen that time. That's exactly what this offense needed. That's what this team needed. Hopefully we can build off of this. The celebration over here on the sideline is ecstatic. Everybody's happy right now. That touchdown brought to you by Zaxby's as Jackson State takes a 9-7 lead, pending the outcome of this point after by Adrian Salazar. Nice crowd of Jackson State fans as they lead the FCS in attendance this season. They need to hurry up and get a snap before they review it, Coach. There's a snap. Ball plays down. The kick is up, and it is good. Jackson State back up in front as they lead it 10-7 over the Southern Jaguars. We're back after this on the Tigers for Network. Salazar will kick it away. It is fielded at the three. He's up to the five, 10, 15. And we have a flag down after the play as Jackson State made the tackle at about the 25-yard line. Let's check in now with Jamie Horton in our Skelly sideline report. Yeah, Rob, I found out that there was no suspensions uh, from the pregame melee, but the referee did make it known in the huddle before he uh, did the, the corn toss in that the there will be any extracurricular activity where will be Call for immediate suspension from the game. Distance to the goal. First down. That's how Richard Schwartz, you make the right call, holding on that kickoff return by the Jaguars. So that's good news for Jackson State, as this is going to push Southern back the, in its own end there, Coach. You're right, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> See, you want me to tell you what's wrong with it? You're absolutely right, Coach. Shrimp basket. Yeah. Zaxby's. 
pizza. <laughs> Sandman got him cold. <laughs> Sandman got him <laughs> <laughs> Jaguars back at his own at their own nine yard line. Skelton remains in at quarterback on first down and ten. Skelton will keep it and he is brought down after a pickup of two yards. That can work for so long and Jackson State is starting to understand what's going on with that. Exactly. Coach Vincent McIntosh on the play right there, coach. It's only so many times that he's gonna be able to continue to pull that football and run. They're gonna have to put him in an uncomfortable situation and make him throw the football. We are coming up on two minutes to go here in the first quarter. It's Jackson State 10, Southern 7. JSU has scored on each of his first two possessions. Skelton back in the shotgun. You got two receivers to the left, one to the right. And Skelton fakes the handoff. Looking, looking, throws deep downfield, and it is intercepted. Intercepted at midfield. Picked off by Rashad Jenkins. Good job right there, Coach. Once again, we just talked about it up here in the booth. Make him throw the football. That's what he cannot do, Coach. He's not a great passer. He can just run the football. Great job by the defense. Offensively, let's put some more points on the board. And, Jimmy, Jamie, Jamie, uh, Rashad Jenkins will get the turnover change. Yeah, Rob, that, that was a that was a great interception. This, uh, this sideline is ecstatic. This team has a lot of confidence right now. Uh, uh, I'm trying to listen to what the coaches are saying. Oh, they're telling them now they got the, the little chain, the turnover chain that just gave, gave to Rashad Jenkins, and he's telling them no moss, no moss. And Sam Brown said that means something else, but I don't know why they're saying it. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue what Brown. I, mean, I, I don't know. He took Spanish and, and J.J. McLean, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> First and ten. Jalen Jones remains in that quarterback throws underneath to Warren Newman, who makes the catch and a pickup of nine yards on the play. Rashad Jenkins was featured in the pre-game um, in our pre-game paraphernalia he says his passion for the game comes from his late grandmother Regina Sands who reminded Jenkins do your best and put your best foot forward in everything you do just ran the zone read again because we had a miscommunication on the blocking scheme because one of the defensive linemen just came scot free third down for the Tigers Jackson State with a 10-7 lead. Coming up on a minute to go here in the first quarter. These Jaguars come from the bluff. Yeah. And they're about to get on my nerve, Coach. There's the pitch to Harper. Harper picks up the first down inside the 35, down to the 33-yard line. That was a great play by those wide receivers. Coach did a great job on the flank out there blocking. Just ran the speed option. Kept it simple, read the defensive end. Great job right there. That first down brought to you by Pizza Hut. As Brown sits over there, starts grit. Boy, they hate for me to give away that food, don't they, Brown? I gave away the extra coat. <laughs> <laughs> he gave away the necessity. No question. <laughs> he weak, Brown. <laughs> first down for Jackson State Jones. Back to throw. Has time. Throws across the middle and is incomplete. Wow, he was looking for Terrell Kennedy down to the five-yard line just a little bit too high. Coach, that was a good play call right there. We just got to get it down. Southern is in that two-deep defense. They spread in the middle of the field. The, the, the middle of the field was wide open that time. 31 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Jackson State at the Southern 33-yard line. Jones is going to be sacked. Looked like he was a uh, miscommunication. Uh, they was trying to hand it know, off to somebody that went back there. I, I, I don't know what that. That was, looked like a quarterback sweep. I don't know what he called it that play, Coach. But I'd rather. This will more than likely end the first quarter with 10 seconds left. Tigers lead it 10-7. We'll take a break and come back here on the Tigers Sports Network. Tigers, know what today is? 
Today is your day to connect with AARP Mississippi. We're making a difference in communities all throughout the state, such as helping you stay ahead of the bad guys at our fraud prevention workshops and shred Take advantage of our financial education to help you secure your retirement. Even use our caregiving resources to help you take care of your loved ones. We're on your team, helping you take on today. So learn more at aarp.org slash ms. The greatest impact we can have on the future is teaching our children to live healthy at home, at play, and at school. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi partners with our schools to support them in being places where our children learn about healthy habits and where they are empowered to achieve full academic potential. With the compassion of the cross and the security of the shield, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi is building a healthy Mississippi. season jackson state football brought to you in part by richard schwartz and associates blue cross blue shield energy zaxby's hope credit union c spire miss kelly's furniture aarp mississippi and porter's insurance third down for the tigers here in the second quarter as they operate from right to left jalen jones quarterback rolls to his right jalen looking looking and he is sacked back at the 45 so that interception by jackson state was all for naught as the tigers are unable to capitalize on it coach yeah, of course they are. I mean, they, they moved the pocket on that last play. Nobody out there. Southern kept bringing the pressure from the backside, and Jalen just took the sack. He had no one to throw it to. Already Keyshawn Harper with 110 yards rushing in this ball game on 12 carries. Wow, JSU has rolled up 161 yards of offense to Southern 77. And the Tigers will have to punt it away. officials again stop play and that'll give us a moment to give you our SWAC scoreboard update brought to you by Entergy in the third quarter Grambling leading Mississippi Valley up in Itabina 17 to nothing Alcorn and Alabama A&M tied at seven at the half no. All start. Mm. Offense. We, don't need. Number nine. <laughs> we need Alcorn to win man. <laughs> of all the games we <laughs> this would be what they're doing down oh in Norman. Prairie View leading Edward Waters 13 to 7, and Florida State defeated Alabama State 49 to 12. That wasn't that bad. Coach. No, it wasn't that bad, Coach. Zach Gleaton on to punt it away. Rugby style kick. It's going to bounce at the 10 and field it at the 9. And again, a good punt by the Tigers. Pushing Southern back at its own end. Let's check in now with Jamie Horton in our Miss Kelly sideline report. Yeah, Rob, I got an update on um, Raheem Wallace, the guy, the offensive lineman who was injured last week. He's in a booth. Uh, I don't think that he will be back this year. Also, I did have a chance to talk to Quadarius Burnett, and he said that he had surgery on his uh, on his leg, and he will probably be red shirted, so he's out for the year also. Well, I mentioned him in the uh, starters. I didn't have that updated, that coach. Yeah. <laughs> Just like they didn't tell. I mentioned him as a starter. They didn't tell me he had his leg. He was out for the year. Yeah. And I mentioned him as a starter. Yeah, some of the numbers are not matched. <laughs> First down and 10. Skelton remains in at quarterback for the Jaguars. They trail 10-7 here in the second quarter. They will hand it off. Nice run on the play. Takes it across the 15 to the 16. Like uh, Keontae Hampton on that tackle right there. Coach met, the, met him in the hole. Yeah, you're not going to win when you meet Keontae in the hole. No, coach. coach. He stopped him right there. Devon Ben on the carry for Southern University. It's hard to these numbers for Southern. Ben is ranked sixth in the league in rushing so far this season. Second down and five for the Jaguars. It is super hard to see these numbers with that sunny sky and these uh, bright gold numbers they have. Second and five. Skelton back in the shotgun. Here comes the pressure. Skelton throws, and the catch is made at the 30-yard line, and it is enough for a first down for the Jaguars. Just throwing a little hits, a little curl routes for Skelton, doing what he can do. Um, if you ever pay attention, Coach, they never throw anything with those receivers moving. With them. Skelton's going to take a quick snap, and he is going to take off. Picks up about three yards to the 35-yard line. It's going to be second down and seven for the Jags. 
Deontay Hampton had him in the backfield and just missed him, Coach. Again. Skelton, he's among the leaders in rushing this season. He's ranked eighth in the league in rushing, and he's the quarterback. <laughs> Second down and seven for the Jaguars. From their own 36, they hand it off to Ben. Ben across the 40, and he is brought down after picking up the first down at the 44-yard line on the tackle for Jackson State. What Khalil Harrington look like, Coach, 52? Yeah. He's taking the place of Kaiser Glass. First down for the Jaguars from their own 44, operating from left to right here in the second quarter. Quarterback will keep the football. Picks up another first down inside the Jackson State 40 down to the Tigers' 39-yard line. We just can't allow him to beat us with his legs, Coach. He's gonna, they ran zone read with the RPO on the backside of it. Coming up on 12 minutes to go here in the second quarter. Jackson State 10, Southern 7, but the Jaguars on the move inside the Tigers' 40-yard line. They have it at the Tigers' 38. Skelton takes the snap. Hands it off to Ben. Ben caught in the backfield for the moment, but he slips out of a tackle, takes it inside the 30, and picks up another first down for the Jaguars. Oh, he's very close to it, to the Tigers' 29. They had D. Ray Wansley over there. Coach got pent inside. He was walked up out there trying to keep it inside, and they boxed him in, and that's how he was able to bounce it outside. It's going to be second down and one for the Jags from the Jackson State 29. Skelton in the shotgun as the Jaguars operate from left to right. They give it back to Ben, and Ben picks up the first down to the Jackson State 26. That's Peyton on the tackle. Coach, he ran it down from the backside. Did a great job of running that play down. Southern has ran the same play three to four times in a row besides the quarterback keeper. Coming up on 11 minutes to go here in the second quarter. Jackson State 10, Southern University Seven, but the Jaguars now at the Tigers' 27-yard line. It is first down for the Jags. Skelton in the shotgun. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Skelton asks for the football, takes a snap. Here comes the pressure, throws across the middle. It's incomplete. It was a short uh, pass, and it dropped in the dirt. Yeah, Coach, again. He does not do a great job of throwing Jackson State can continue to bring the pressure and stop the run, force him to throw the football. Yeah, now he, he's not that accurate, though. <laughs> he, was, so he was 20 yards short right there. <laughs> Southern. <laughs> you could have made that pass. Right? Southern had the sec they have the second worst offense, a passing offense in the league, just above Valley. Yeah. <laughs> second down and 10 as they give it to Ben and Ben up the middle. Not much there as he takes it inside the 15 down to the 14. Third down and long now for the Jaguars. Yeah, Coach Ramique, uh, that was uh, Keontae Hampton on the tackle again. All right, let's check in with Jamie. Yeah, Rob, what the, what the, the defense is doing is they're, you're talking about the loss of glass, um, and everybody I think knows about what happened, but they're putting, like, different people in to try to take his spot. But you can tell that the, the loss of him is really hurting this defense a little bit. Third down and seven to go, they say. Third and seven. Skelton throws towards the end zone, and it is overthrown and complete, bringing up four. You're right, Coach. He's not accurate he's, at all. He's not accurate, Coach. And if Jackson State defense, if, if that front six can, can control the run, and all they're doing is, is mashing everything inside, and once it collapses, the quarterback is keeping it running on the outside, Coach. Once the coaches make that adjustment and make him have to throw the football, Coach, you know, and our offense continues to move the football, Coach, I think that we can do some things. Baraja on to attempt a 40-yard field goal. Now, he's pretty accurate, Coach. He's fourth in the league in kicks coming into this game. He's 6 of 10 on the season. Need a big special team play right here. Good block. But just make sure that they don't go for the fake on you. Cesar Baraja, the junior from Arcadia, Florida, on to attempt a 40-yard field goal for Southern University. There's a snap. It was a little bit high. Placed down. Kick is up. And it is good. 
And we're tied at 10 with 9.57 to go. We're back after this on the Tiger Sports Network. Seven to go. The Jaguars have tied it up on a 40-yard field goal by Caesar Baraja. This kick is in the end zone for a touchback. Jackson State and the Jaguars all tied at 10 here at Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium. Zaxby's is proud to sponsor of the Mississippi Children's Museum, Reading to Succeed and Planting the Seeds to Read programs committed to improving the childhood literacy development of Mississippi children. For more information, log on to mschildmuseum.org or call 601-981-5469. Got some snacks over there. All right, first down and 10 for Jackson State from its own 25. Jalen Jones remains in at quarterback, and he will keep the football. Jones still on his feet at the 40. He may be gone, Coach. He's across midfield. Jones at the 20 and brought down at the Jaguars' 19-yard line. What a run by Jalen Jones. Did a good job of having vision, Coach, to cut back across, picked up his block by his wide receiver. D.D. Bowie did a great job of making that block for him in springing, Coach. Jackson State with another first down brought to you by Pizza Hut as they get closer to the Penn Street Investment Red Zone. What a run by Jalen Jones, and he can do that, Coach. Yeah, they're bringing in Ponder right now, Coach. Yeah, Jalen may be tired, Coach. <laughs> After running for almost 50 yards. Ponder hands it off. To Jordan Johnson, Jordan up the middle, and he stopped for no gain on that play. Just ran the zone right there, Coach. I was trying to see what's going on with Jalen. I think he may be just a little bit windy, Coach. Let's check in with Jamie. Jamie, you think he's a little tired right now? Yeah, I, I actually think that's what it was. I'm trying to, um, in fact, I think that that's what it is because he's in the huddle with the offense right now on the field. Uh, so I just think he was a little winner. Let's give him a little break. Yeah, Coach Cuffman. He after that play, he started throwing his hands up like urging on the crowd. We'll take a break and come back on the Tiger Sports Network. It's a connection to the world, a great starting point leading up to your final destination, a place where you'll see familiar faces, artists traveling, leaping even to different places. Because there are flight connections, then there are human connections. Those you can't buy a ticket for. You just have to be present. No matter where you go, you have something, some memory, some experience to hold on to. And before you explore it, you can get one more dose of vitality, hospitality, and congeniality all at the Jackson Metro Wiley Evers International Airport. Your pit stop for pleasant encounters. Your connection to the world. Taylor Jones 
back in at quarterback on second down. Rolls to his left, throws in the end zone, and it is intercepted. Wow. Intercepted in the end zone, and the Jaguars will have it at the 20-yard line, Coach. Yeah, he was just trying to make a play, Coach. He had a guy wide open in the end zone just trying to make a play. And Southern came off of the, the defender, and he made a play. Wow, Jamie, you can't afford to let those opportunities slip away, man. Yeah, and I'm, I'm looking at it, and I think the red his eyes the whole way. I actually thought he was going to keep running it, but he didn't. He started to make something happen, fit it into the receiver, but the safety red his eyes and got the interception. First and ten for the Jaguars. They throw along the left side. The catch is made, and it's going to be a pickup of nine yards up to the 29-yard line. Just ran a little hitch route to the outside for a nine-yard pickup. Tied at 10 here in the second quarter. Coming up on eight minutes to play before the half. Second down and two for the Jaguars. They give him an eight-yard pickup on that play. Skelton remains in at quarterback. Jackson State showing blitz. Here they come, and Skelton gets out of it. What a fake he put on the uh, defenders. Tyler Rogers knocks him down after picking up five yards. That was a smart play by the quarterback, coach. Yeah, he saw Jackson State brought the pressure. Tyler Rogers came off the edge, brought the pressure, and he pulled it down and just ran right by him, Coach. You got to be able to break down and make that play. First down for the Jaguars at their own 35-yard line, operating from left to right in their Columbia blue jerseys with the gold number. Skelton back in the shotgun. He's got a back standing to his right. Fakes the handoff. Skelton in trouble now. He's going to roll by some time, and he's going to run for another first down, but a flag down at about the 33. They may bring this one back, Coach. Yeah, it looked like there was some holding going on back here. You know, I don't know what Southern is trying to they, – they like they're trying to throw the football this particular drive right here, Coach, but Skelton really doesn't want to throw the football, Coach, and he's going to throw one too many times, and we're going to pick it off. Here's the Richard Schwartz. You make the right talk. Hold it. <laughs> Offense, number 78, 10 yard penalty, replay, first down. He said number 78, that's uh, Jatire Carter, the sophomore from White Castle, Louisiana. That's number 78. That's what he said. That's what he said. 78. Jaguars now facing a first down at 20 from their own 16-yard, I'm sorry, 26-yard line. Skelton, the quarterback, in the shotgun. He's going to step up in the pocket. He has some room to run, and another flag is down as Skelton takes it near midfield. I think this may be another holding penalty on the Jags. Yeah, it's going to be holding, Coach, and that's on big numbers. Looks like number 64, Coach. For Southern University. Holding. Offense. Number 64. 10 yard penalty. Replay. For That's Jeremiah Abbey, the senior from Atlanta. So this is going to make it first down and 30. Forever. <laughs> Two back to back holding penalties. And I tell you what, Jamie Jackson State defense, they got them marching in the right direction if you're a defensive guy. That's right. Backwards. And uh, let's hope they can keep on doing it. <laughs> So it's first down and 30 for the Jaguars. They have it at their own 16. They can pick up the first down at the 46. Skelton in trouble, throws the screen pass, nothing doing at all as he's tackled for a loss back to the 10-yard line. That was Thayard came off that play, Coach. Good play by Thayard to fight off that block and make, it, make that tackle. It is second down and 32. Just don't give up the big play right here. 6.23 to go here in the second quarter. We're tied at 10 here at Memorial Stadium. Skelton back in the shotgun. Now, he doesn't have an arm to throw a bomb, but you can't let him do it. So Skelton takes a snap. It as he throws, and it is, look at this right here. 
look at this right here. Said, I just said that. Just said that play. Play. He, he, caught, he just threw a go route, but even with that pass right there, Coach, the receiver had to fall down to make the play. He just threw a straight go route. It was second down at 30, and he picked up 35 yards. That's unbelievable. And again, that was C.J. Holmes that gave it up at the Jackson State 45-yard line. Jaguars will pitch it out to the left side. Inside the 40, they go. Knocked out of bounds at the 35-yard line of Jackson State. You think there was no way possible they could get a first down on that drive he back just, at the 15. He just threw it up, Coach. But the problem, the defensive back never turned and looked for the football. Wow. So another first down for the Jaguars as they have it now with the Jackson State 35-yard line. Skelton, the quarterback, in the shotgun, operating from left to right. We're tied at 10. Skelton again with the option play. He'll pitch it out. He's, he's bobbling, and it's a fumble, and it's – oh, it bounced right back to the back at the 30-yard line. He fumbled it, lost it on the ground, and it came right back to him, Coach. Well, what they did, Coach, they ran off to the Jackson State sideline. The guy that was standing up out here, the safety had two high safety. Checking the option meant that the, the safety had to come down for force, and they pitched it. It was a bobble. We just couldn't get to it. Second down and five for the Jaguars. Under five minutes to go. They have the ball at the Jackson State 30-yard line. They have a field goal kicker who can uh, kick. He can kick with distance. Skelton will keep it. Now they take it up the middle, and he is met by yeah. the whole entire defensive line. Whole defensive line, Keontae Hampton, C.J. Anderson, Vincent McIntosh, the whole defensive line, Coach. All right, going to bring up third down now. Third down and five for the Jaguars. Coming up on four minutes to play here in the second quarter. Jackson State 10, Southern University 10. Third and five, Jaguars moving the ball from left to right. Man in motion from right to left. Skelton takes the snap. Skelton throws towards the end zone, and that is way out of bounds and incomplete. It's going to be fourth down now. Yeah, that was way out of bounds right there. Coach, you threw that one to the ambulance. <laughs> now, what kind of vehicle is that? Ambulance. You got to love it, Coach. <laughs> you got to love it. <laughs> All right, so they look like they may go for it here, Coach. Yeah. This may be just a tad bit out of Barajas' range. So it's fourth down and five. Now they picked up a first down on second and 30. May try to throw them on side, Joe, Coach. Here comes the pressure. Skelton steps up, and he's going to pick up the first down. He's going to pick up a touchdown. Yeah. He just let everybody run downfield, Coach. The middle of the field opened up. Jackson State went man coverage, which meant every receiver ran everybody off. Running back did a swing route. The middle of the field opened wide up, wide open, rather, and for a touchdown. He pulled it down and ran. Oh, Jamie, what a bad break for the JSU defense. Yes. Um, <laughs> like D.A. said about the man defense, again, it just, you know, the receiver just went out, ran with everybody with him. He had the middle of the field wide open. Jaguar 16, Jackson State 10, pending the outcome of the point after, which is good. Jaguar 17, JSU 10. We're back after this on the Tiger Sports Network.
following that touchdown run by Skelton. The Jaguars take a 17-10 lead. That kickoff goes out of bounds, so this will give JSU good field position with 3.41 to go here in the second quarter. That coach? It will, Coach. You know, we still have timeouts to go. You, you still have an opportunity to create some big plays. And, again, Jackson State, they're creating the big plays, Coach. But when we get inside the 20-plus, we have to learn to finish, and that's where we're, we're stumbling at. Southern defense gets a little stiffer, but we need to finish down there. Jackson State football brought to you in part by Pizza Hut. Come to the Jackson Metro Job Fair December 7th from 1 to 6 p.m. at the Byram Pizza Hut location on Terry Road. They're hiring shift managers, delivery, and team members with their South Jackson stores as well. First down and 10, Jalen Jones throws underneath. The catch is made. Not much there. A pickup of about three yards on that play. Just ran a little swing route right there, Coach Keyshawn Harper. Southern will get the ball back at the start of the third quarter as they won the toss and elected to put their defense on the field. So they're trying to get two for one here before the half. They can hold Jackson State. Jalen Jones, a quarterback, in the shotgun, takes the snap, and he will take off. I thought he fumbled the football, but he takes it across the 40 and dropped down at the 41. Yeah, look, look I thought he fumbled it too, Coach. I'm just trying to get the understanding of Two minutes, three minutes to go right here. We, we got to get the ball downfield. Under three to go here in the second quarter. It is third down and five for Jackson State. The Tigers trail 17 to 10 here in the second quarter. Jones back to throw. Fires along the left side. A nice catch by Bowie. Bowie down to the 30-yard line. He just went in the air and snatched that out of the air. For the first down, brought to you by Pizza Hut. Coach, this kid can really play football. I mean, he has great vision. He just went up and caught the go route. You know, continue to get him the football, create positions where he can get the football. Jackson State at the Jaguars, 30-yard line. Coming up on two minutes to go here in the second quarter. The Tigers trail 17-10 to 10 on a beautiful Saturday afternoon here in Jackson. Jalen Jones, a quarterback. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. Jones takes a snap, and he is going to call his own number, and he's brought down after taking it inside the 25 to the 24, pushed out of bounds on the far side, a pickup of about seven yards. This ran quarterback draw right there, Coach. He hesitated and hesitated, then he just exploded, burst to the sideline, the Jackson State sideline. Second down and three for Jackson State from the Jaguars' 23-yard line. Shotgun set for Jalen Jones. He's got Jordan Johnson standing to his left shoulder. He'll give it to Jordan. Oh, he fakes the handoff. Throws a man open at the one. Touchdown, Jackson State. Good job right there, Coach Kennedy on the touchdown. Salem bought time. He bought time. Kennedy turned around and he hit him for the touchdown. Wow, everyone thought, Jamie, that uh, <laughs> that Jordan Johnson had the football. Yeah, yeah. yeah, look, I actually knew he had it because I made an angle where I could see him. My thing was I was going to see what he was going to do with it because he actually had like about 10 or 15 yards where he could have ran. But that was a, a great play by Jalen, a fool in the defense and everybody in the stadium. And now we're about to uh, point away from tying this ball game. Great call by offensive coordinator Rod Dickerson. Was a great call, Coach. Great call. And what I like about the call, we didn't get conservative down here, Coach. A high snap. Ball placed down by Jordan. The kick is up, and it is good. We're tied once again at 17. That touchdown brought to you by Zaxby's. We're back after this on the Tigers Sports Network. The other day, my husband Jesse and I were talking about our finances and how much Hope Credit Union has meant to us over the years. They got us started with solid financial advice and then our first checking and savings account. Hope helped us improve our credit scores too so we could buy a new car for our growing family. They were also right there with an affordable home loan when we purchased our first house. And they're even helping with our son's college fund. Until now, we've never realized that Hope Credit Union has been the best financial partner we could have found. They've been with us every step of the way. Find your perfect financial partner in Hope. 
call 1-800-284-1363. You can also go online to hopecu.org or visit your nearest branch. Join Hope Credit Union today. Brighter futures begin with hope. Federally insured by NCUA, equal housing lender. Jackson State will kick it away. It's fielded at the 9. He's up to the 10, 15, 20. And oh, fumble on the play, and the Tigers recover. Jackson State recovers. Good job. With a minute 36 to go here before the half. Great special teams play by the Tigers, Jamie. Rob, I tell you, that was a great, great play by the uh, up man to strip that ball away. I think that was Daniel Cromwell who uh, knocked that ball loose. Now we got a chance to get some points before the half and take the lead. Wow. Yeah, that's who it was, Crowell on that play. Just to break, Jackson State needed, and they have the ball at the Jaguars' 29-yard line. Wow, Coach, that turnover brought to you by Bolden Body Shop. That was a big turnover, Coach. I let me lock my window so I don't fall out of Yeah, don't fall out here, Coach. <laughs> Two receivers to the right. Jalen Jones remains in that quarterback, gives it to Jordan Johnson, and he stopped dead in his tracks. No gain on the play, on the tackle for the Jaguars. Jalen Ivey, among others. Just tried to run that inside zone right there, Coach. Just a miscommunication by the offensive line on that, but they're huddling up right now, getting it together. Coming up on a minute to go here in the second quarter, Jackson State with the ball to the Jaguars. 29-yard line after that fumble on the kickoff. Jalen Jones has his left hand taped pretty heavily. Has time, he's going to step up, and he's brought down. You know, this is a this is a time right now, Coach, where you have to get some points out of this this big turnover. You got an opportunity to seize the moment. Fifty two seconds on the clock. Timeout, Jackson State. Second timeout of the half. This will be a thirty second timeout. All right, Jackson State calls a timeout there, Coach. Yeah, they do, Coach. I mean, now you got an opportunity. You're going to have to get the first down or at least you're in two-down territory. You, you give Coach an option. Should I go for it on fourth down or should I kick the field goal? But you're going to have to to reduce the, the down and distance right here. Jackson State football also brought to you in part by Chambliss Premier Insurance. where They can save you an average of $835 on your auto and home insurance. They do this by comparing your current rate with the rates from over 20 insurance companies they represent to find you premier coverage with premium savings. Call Carneal Chambliss at 888-576-5296 or go to icheckmyrate.com. That's icheckmyrate.com. Third down now for the Tigers. Third and long for JSU from the Southern University, 33-yard line. Jalen Jones takes the snap. Jalen throws, and it is caught! Caught for another touchdown! Wow, Rameek Wallace with that touchdown for the Tigers. They just ran double post right there, Coach. A post by the number two receiver, then a post, skinny post by the one receiver. The safety had to make a decision. Great call by the offensive coordinator. That touchdown brought to you by Zaxby's. Jamie, and I know everyone is excited down there on the field. I, I got TV people and everybody else jump the thing. Tell my <laughs> great play. That was, a, that was a great play. By, that was a great play by Elon Jones and the receiver. Jackson State trying to tack on the point after. With 45 seconds to go before the half. There's a snap ball placed down. The kick is up. And Jackson State with 14 points in 20 seconds. We're back after this on the Tiger Sports Network.
45 seconds to go. JSU with a squib kick, and the Jaguars will just fall on it at about the 33-yard line. What a turn of events for Jackson State as the Tigers score 14 points in about 30 seconds there, Coach, to take a 24-17 lead over the Jaguars. Coach, that was a turnaround that just happened, just like that, Coach. And the positive thing is we capitalized on it. I mean, great job offensively, Coach. He didn't get conservative. He was aggressive, and that's what you need with a type of offense like this. Absolutely. Nice crowd of Jackson State fans here. Nice crowd of Southern University fans coming in from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I know one little fan that's here from Baton Rouge. I don't know what made her choose to go there. Well, <laughs> I saw a little red truck down there, and I said, that looked like Rob J. Yeah, yeah, you see too much. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were trying to get it. You look at that too far. I've been, I've been to Southern more this year than I ever been in my life. <laughs> I'm sick of looking at it, Coach. First down and 10. Jaguars from their own 36 yard line with 45 seconds to go before the half. Skelton throws. The catch is made underneath, and it's a pickup of about 13 yards just shy of midfield. Good job. Just play. Bag up like the defensive backs are doing now and just rally to the football because one thing we do know, Skelton cannot beat us with his time own out. coach. Southern, the first timeout of the half. This will be a timeout. Southern calls the timeout there, coach. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna try to nickel and dime and maybe take a shot up top, but we know, coach, he can't beat us with his arm. And I'm sure Jamie, Jamie is saying the same thing. At the half, we'll hear from Jackson State head coach John Hendrick. Jackson State football also brought to you this season by Jackson Medgar Wiley Evers International Airport and Hawkins Field Airport. You need to get a flight. Let's go to Jackson Medgar Wiley Evers International Airport and the Hawkins Field Airport. I like the display they have inside that airport of Medgar Evers. It's, it's, it's amazing. First down and 10 for the Jags at their own 49 yard line. Skelton remains in at quarterback. Tigers with a 24-17 lead over Southern. Skelton back to throw. Fires along the left sideline. The catch is made for another first down for the Jags. Just trying to look like set up for a field goal, Coach. Possibly take a shot to the end zone. Jackson State has everybody deep. 33 seconds now left to go in the second quarter. Dawson Odom, the head coach of the Jaguars. Skelton back in the shotgun. Skelton takes a snap. Here comes the pressure. He has time, though. And now he's brought down by Keontae Hampton right at the line of scrimmage. Good job, Keontae Hampton. One thing about that kid, Coach, once he gets his hands on you, it's hard to get time away out. from him. Southern. Southern calls another timeout with 26 There's seconds to go. Second timeout. Next week, Jackson State will close out the regular season as they – will host Alcorn State, and if everything goes according to plan, if this happens, the game next week could be for the Swack East title, Coach. It could be, Coach. That would be, that would bring this whole stadium to, to a packed house. Absolutely. Nice crowd here today as JSU leads the league and the entire nation in attendance in FCS football. That's amazing, man. That is, Coach. It's getting back to the old days. And I'm sure the business is in Jackson love to hear that. Uh, I had a, the coach from Millsaps. He told me, man, tell Jack State to keep winning because we charge the park during the home game. <laughs> man, you can't make no money off us, man. <laughs> Second down and 10 for Southern University with 26 seconds to go before the half. Skelton back in the shotgun. Takes the snap. Skelton is brought down and he is sacked back at the 41-yard line. Southern is out of timeouts. They have one more time. time out. Okay, they have, they're out now. They burn. Yeah, <laughs> okay, they're, they're out, out now. <laughs> they're out now, Jamie, with 19 seconds to go. I, 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 that's, that's it for them. I, but uh, Rob, I just found out Rob and D.A. that D.B. Bowie uh, injured himself a little bit. I think it's his hamstring on that catch he made on that last drive. Oh, no. So uh, I will give you – he's walking around. Uh, I'll give you further updates as uh, they become available. Oh, that's a, that would be a wow. big blow, yeah. man. 
Tell him, Jamie, put some tape on it, put a pack of ice, and get back on the field. Not, not Jamie, I, tell him if he's hurt, Jamie, not to come back out there. If, it, if it's not off the bone, Jamie, he just needs Jamie. to tape it up. Hey, I got, to go. I, got, I got some bowel freeze in my pocket myself, so he, I give him some of that. Jamie, you need to go. tell that young man if he's hurt, not to come back out there. Well, listen to Asbury. As long as it ain't hanging off the bone, he got to go. Well, he's made some great catches, man. He's made yeah. some Randy Moss-type catches, man. All right, third down and 10 for the Jaguars from Jackson State's 40-yard line, 19 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Skelton, the quarterback, four-man front for the Tigers. Skelton fakes the handoff. Looks like holding, but they don't call it. He throws underneath. The catch is made, and that's another first-down pickup right at the 30, knocked out of bounds by Keontae Hampton, but 11 seconds left to go here in the second. They're trying to get in field goal range, Coach Skelton. They're trying to buy time, but Jackson State is doing a great job of staying in coverage. He can't beat us with his arm, Coach. He's going to have to run the football. And I tell you what, Coach, you know, it, it, he can't really run. They don't have any more timeouts. They're trying to get it close to get in field goal range. They may not have enough time with 11 seconds to go here in the second. Skelton takes the snap, fakes the handoff. Skelton looking, looking. And he fumbles the football, and he managed to fall on it, and that will end the second quarter. What a great job by the JSU defense there, Coach. Yes, it was, Coach. I mean, Big Vincent McIntosh, C.J. Anderson, all those guys did a great job of getting to the football. Great job on both sides of the football and our special teams the first half. Let's go down on the field with Jamie and Coach. All right, Coach. Put your on the table. It's just the first half. Both teams are playing hard. We got a good game going on. We just need to go in halftime and make sure we group, group, get right and come back out with our stingers in the second half. We already we play like we played in the first half. We ought to be okay. Thanks, Coach. All right, he's right, Coach. Yeah. Hendrick said if they play like they played in the first half, they'll be okay, Coach. Uh, Twenty-four seventeen is the halftime score. Your impressions of the first half, Coach? I agree with everything Coach Hendrick just said. Both teams. It's going to come down who wants it the most in, the, in turnovers, Coach. And, I, and I'm telling you, both teams are playing extremely well, but Jackson State has the edge and the momentum right now. All right, Coach, at the half, Jackson State 24, Southern Jaguars 17. We're back after this on the Tiger Sports Network. I work for Entergy. And I'm committed to my customers. That means reliable, affordable power. Every year, we save our customers millions buying wholesale power at the best rates. New natural gas power plants ensure lower prices for years to come. And we're giving you smarter technology to take control of your bill. Our rates are among the lowest in the nation. And I'm making sure they stay that way.
attempted to imitate the sonic boom by featuring a dance crew during Silver's homecoming halftime. The boom will now reenact how bad it really was, along with full commentary. This is based on a true story. Hit it, boom.
uh, that, that, you know, the, the crowd enjoys this game so much and the city enjoys this. Absolutely. And so we're happy to see all the people in the city and we hope that they continue to have a good time even after the game. As a flag on the play, again, we are joined by Jackson Mayor Chokwe and Charla Mumba. Mayor, uh, we saw your, your challenge to the, the Baton Rouge Mayor. So far, so good. Look like you're winning this Yeah, round. yeah. The uh, the Tigers are holding holding me down so far. So I, I'm, I'm up the stairs rooting very hard for them. I need them to continue this. Now, did you, did you know about all of this animosity towards these two teams? Because there's been a... As Coach Bob Hill would say, a skimmish before the game. There was a skimmish at halftime. <laughs> well, I, I didn't. I didn't witness the the uh, before the pregame skimmish uh, skimmish. But uh, but obviously, I, I grew up in Jackson, so I know what this game means uh, not only to Jackson State but to all of the city. You know? Skelton is in trouble, and he throws it away to avoid the sack. And uh, again, Mayor, I, I know you have to be uh, uh, very pleased with, with this crowd. What does what a crowd like this, what does Jackson State winning do for the city of Jackson? Oh, it's it's uh, it's immensely helpful to our, our tourism. Uh, it brings people in town, uh, not only uh, the fans of the, the teams that we're competing against, but it brings uh, Jackson State alum home uh, to come and visit and, and see the school. And so... Uh, we want to be as supportive of Jackson State and Jackson State athletics as we can be. Uh, you know, over the years, Jackson State has been the number one draw to people uh, here in the city. And so uh, we recognize the institutional value of Jackson State. Well, Mayor, we do have snacks here in the booth. We have uh, Pizza Hut pizza. We have Pizza Hut chicken wing. Now, the guy you with, he can't eat any of that. So you can help yourself. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Look, you know, until this, until this game is done, I'm a little too nervous to eat. So, uh, <laughs> So, man, you have any big um, big plans coming up on the horizon? Anything you'd like to announce? Yeah. Oh, well, there's, there's, a, there's quite a few, uh, you know, oars in the fire that we're, we're working on. Uh, but, but the number one that I think the Jacksonians would be most uh, excited about is that we're pushing forward with this $40 million that we're leveraging for our infrastructure. Uh, we know just how, how dire our circumstance is, and, and we've been excited to be very aggressive in, in our pursuit of this, but we know that the, the circumstances and the, the need is greater than it's ever been. Third down now for the Jaguars, third and five. Skelton back to throw, and it is incomplete. Maybe I'm, bringing Jackson State some good luck. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be clapping in the booth here. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, how is your uh, alma mater doing? Uh, since, this, since the last time we talked, yeah. you kind of put it on us, man. Well, you know, let's talk about positive <laughs> things, all right? No, no, no. <laughs> we're, we're, we're focused on Jackson State right now, all right? <laughs> yeah, you got to stuck it to us, man. But we, that's why so we made Steve, a few right? changes. Yeah, we made a few you, changes. You see, I'm back, on, I'm back on board right now. So. Yeah, we <laughs> made a few changes since then. Yeah, no question. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> all right, so Jackson State uh, forces Southern to a three and out there, Coach. Yeah, Coach, good, good stop right here. Now we just need to take control of this football and go down and make some plays. Newman feels the punt at the 31, slips a few tackles, angles to his left, and he is going to run out of bounds at the 38-yard line. 24-17, Jackson State with the lead. We're being visited by Jackson Mayor Chokwe and Tarla Mumba. And, uh, Mayor, man, I just want to tell you, you, you've done a wonderful job as mayor. I know you, you came into a situation where it was a lot of things that, you know, wasn't stacked in your favor, but you've done a wonderful job, man. I just want you to know that, and I know a lot of people know that, man. Well, I appreciate that, and, and, you know, people are encouraging each and every day. But I want the citizens of Jackson to know uh, that, that we're not satisfied yet. And so we're going to keep pushing. You know, we, we have obvious signs of turning the corner, uh, but we have to keep building on that. And I believe that we can have the city that we all dream that we, we, we should have and we all deserve. And so I look forward to working with the citizens to achieve that. All right, first down for Jackson State. From its own 36-yard line, they will hand it off to Keyshawn Harper. Harper takes it across the 40 to the 46-yard line. Didi Bowie remains in the game, Coach, and I see that he has his uh, right uh, hamstring look taped up there. Yeah, Coach, and that's the, that's the way you play this game, Coach. Pain is universal, Coach. No, just no, a weakness. You might need to Pain is just a weakness that. leaving the body, Coach. In a big-time game like this, you need your big-time <laughs> players, Coach. <laughs> I keep on. <laughs> Did he wake up with a leg gone? <laughs> Second down at six and another flag down as we take a look at the Richard Schwartz. You make the right call. We are again being joined by Jackson, Mayor Chokwe and Tarla Mumba as uh, he joins us here at the half. So, uh, Mayor, how long are you going to be around? You're going to be here for the rest of the game? I'm going to stay to the finish. I'm going to stay to the finish. I look forward to sending a nice uh, gift package to, to Mayor Broom. Uh, I've been, you know, she, she could not make it because they have a, a big election going on oh, back home. Uh, but I've been, been uh, you know, commentating the game 
uh, through through emojis, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, well Mayor, if you need me to take that package, I'm headed back that way. Okay, I would love to deliver. I'm gonna send that it package. through you. I'm gonna send it through you. <laughs> I, I, know, okay. the, I know the right people to get to I got you. I got you. <laughs> that penalty was on Jackson State, pushes the Tigers back five yards. Jalen Jones rolls to his right, throws, it is incomplete. So it's going to bring up third down now for the Tigers. Jalen just tried to do a sprint out right there. He's going to have to learn as a young quarterback. You're going to have to set behind your offensive line if the defensive end is continuing to sprint out. You're going to have to set in the pocket that created your pocket and don't over-sprint your pocket. Third down, third down, and 11 for Jackson State from its own 36, making the 37-yard line. They can pick up the first down at the 47. JSU leading 24-17 early in the third quarter. This has been an emotional game from start to where we are right now. Jones in the shotgun. A man in motion to the right. Jones back to throw. He's going to roll to his right. He has room to run, plenty of room, and he is brought down, but not after picking up the first down. Good job. Just moving to the right. The, the running back motion out the backfield. It's starting to beat Southern at their own game now. Southern locked up, man. Everybody left, and he pulled it down and ran. All right. Again, uh, Mayor, I, I, th I think you're bringing Jackson State some good luck here. Are you, you'll be here at the Alcorn game next week? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> we I, might I, be able to turn <laughs> converted. Yeah, so. You know, I, I was thinking that we, we might have to do a fire drill at their hotel around 2 a.m. Right? <laughs> So on first down, the Tigers go to their big tight end who picks up about five yards inside the Southern Territory at the 49-yard line. That first down, by the way, brought to you by Pizza Hut. I see Coach, they're not isolating D.D. Bowie one-on-one. The safety is trying to get over there and give him some safety help over the top. Jalen Jones remains in at quarterback. Tight end in motion from right to left, and he gets set. Jones will hand it off to Harper. Harper is wrapped up for no gain on that play, Coach. This motion, Coach, just ran inside power right there. and Just southern defensive line just beat us to the punch on that one. Third down, a nice crowd here at Memorial Stadium. You know, like a few more southern fans slipped in, Coach. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a beautiful <laughs> sight. It's a beautiful sight. It's like it's, it's getting back to the, the, yeah, it the is. good old Jackson State days. It? it is, Coach. And that's what you like, the atmosphere of the game. Third down for JSU. Jackson State again coming into this game ranked eighth in the league. A third down conversion. Long pass down the left side. It is incomplete. So with fourth down, do you go for it here, Coach? No. We punted, Coach. Put the defense back on the field. He tried to get the one-on-one -on -one with D.D. Bowie, but if he looked to his left, the linebacker didn't go with his running back. It's third and five. You just dump it off. You get the first down and play play the next series. You sure you don't go for it here? No, Coach. Punt. You sure you don't go? I'm positive. <laughs> You're trying to get me five. <laughs> <laughs> so fourth down and five to go. JSU will punt it away. The Tigers lead it 24-17. Jackson State scored 14 points in 30 seconds. There's the punt by Gleaton. It's a high kick, and it is fielded at the 10. No fair catch signal made, and he's going to make a nice run to the 28-yard line. No flag as he goes out of bounds. Oh, come on. Come they they threw a flag, but that – that wasn't the flag that was needed. It was the flag on the 20 that for the block in the back should have been thrown. So a 15-yard penalty will be assessed against Jackson State. 11 up. Five to go. JSU will punt it away. The Tigers lead it 24-17. Jackson State scored 14 points in 30 seconds. There's the punt by Gleaton. It's a high kick, and it is fielded at the 10. No fair catch signal made, and he's going to make a nice run to the 28-yard line. No flag as he goes out of bounds. Oh, come on. Come they, they threw a little flag, but that, that wasn't the flag that was needed. It was the flag on the 20 that for the block in the back should have been thrown. So a 15-yard penalty will be assessed against Jackson State. 11 08 to go. Uh, Mayor Lamumba, thank you so much for joining us. Anything else you'd like to add, sir? No, just thank you, uh, gentlemen, for having me. Uh, excited to see uh, Jackson State football back strong. Uh, happy to have all of the, the good people in the city of Jackson. Uh, this is about being hospitable. This is about the culture of our city, the culture of uh, historically black college 
uh, football and, and uh, all of the pageantry that comes with it. And we're, we're really happy that we have this, uh, this resource in our city. Well, you know, Mayor, you're welcome any time to come on our broadcast. And, again, there's plenty of food in here to eat because the guy with you, he can't eat any of this. I'm, I'm going to eat his share. <laughs> I'm going to eat his share. All right. <laughs> All right, Mayor, thank All you right. so much for joining us. All right, thank you, gentlemen. All right, thank first you. down for Jackson State. I'm sorry, first down for Southern from the 45-yard line. Skelton remains in at quarterback. He'll hand it off. Not much there. Check in now with Jamie Horton down on the field. What's going on, Jamie? Well, right now, Rob, there's still a lot of enthusiasm down here on the sideline. The uh, coaches are telling the defense to get the ball back. Uh, it was a great, great stance by the Southern defense that time. But the coaches, the offensive coaches down here are really encouraging the offense. They're moving the ball. They just have to get a, uh, the right plays to finish the drive, and they should be all right. One-yard pickup on the play from the Jaguars. Skelton back to throw. Has plenty of time. Throws across the middle. It's tipped, and it is intercepted. Or did they say it touched the ground? C.J. Holmes was back there at the 35. Now, will they look at this, Coach? Coach, I, I don't know. It looked like it hit the ground from up here. Right, C.J. is not arguing about it, so yeah. it was an incomplete pass. So it's going to be third down and nine for the Jaguars. They made a big conversion in the first half. Brown pointing at somebody, and it's thousand. Oh, okay. Prohibition. Gooning. Third down and nine for the Jaguars from their own 46. Skelton back to throw. Looking, steps up, throws. The catch is made, but it's not going to be enough for a first down. It's going to be about two or three yards shy of the first, Coach. Yeah, Coach. They just ran a little miss route, which means a crossing route underneath but it was about four, three, four yards short for the first down. Coach Odom is sending his punting unit on the field. All right, Coach Dawson Odom sending his punting unit out on the field. And if you're just tuning in, if you missed the halftime festivities, that was more uh, anx an anxious moment when the Southern Jaguar, they try to do a skit with a guy running into the goalpost dressed as a Jackson State Tiger, but Sunday the Tiger stopped him dead in his tracks. And my hat is tipped off. To Sonny the Tiger. That's my boy. Sonny did a good job, <laughs> Coach. <laughs> so Southern will punt it away as the ball will roll inside the JSU 10 down to the 9-yard line. 9.34 to go in the third. We're back after this on the Tiger Sports Network. Tigers lead 24-17. welcomes Porter's Insurance as a proud sponsor of JSU Athletics. For all of your insurance needs, turn to a friend indeed. Porter's Insurance, located at 1020 University Boulevard, formerly known as Terry Road, offers protection coverage for all of your needs. Porter's has affordable comprehensive coverage for your home, car, life, health, and accident and commercial business needs. Learn more about Porter's Insurance at portersinsurance.com. Porter's Insurance and JSU, partners in our community. What are the best-dressed homes wearing this fall? Miss Kelly's Furniture. Cozy up to the latest styles, from classic to contemporary and everything in between. Dress up your home and save as much as $300 and spread your payments out over five years with no money down. Play with patterns, add some drama, or just some finishing touches. With $300 off and five years special financing, updating for fall isn't just easy, it's so much fun. Happy fall, y'all, from Miss Kelly's. On first down, Jalen Jones. Pass against the offense, number four. Five yard penalty with a loss of down. Jalen Jones. It'll be second down. It's called for a uh, illegal forward pass. He was across the line of scrimmage, Coach. And he, calm down, calm down. <laughs> That's going to stack Jackson State back at its own six yard line. Wow. Yeah, he was, Coach. Just go ahead and take the loss. The key now, Coach, is we got to keep our poise right here. All right, first down and 15 now for Jackson State from his own six-yard line. Jones takes a snap. He's back in the end zone, throws, and the catch it is incomplete at the 15. Just kind of ran a, a, a dig, a little squaring route by the number two receiver, a little eight-yard route. The ball was incomplete. Hit his hands, but defensively they made a good break on the football. 
All right, you got to do something to get out of this hole, Coach. Yeah, you, you can't make any mistakes because this is where Southern likes to get you. They like to create turnovers down here, get their fans back involved, and then they capitalize on it. Third down and 15 for the Tigers at their own six-yard line. 9.06 to go here in the third. Jackson State 24, Southern 17. Jones in the shotgun, and he will step up, and he almost fumbled at football, but he's brought down at the line of scrimmage. So it's going to be fourth down, and they're going to have to punt this away, Coach. Now, Coach, the key to this punt is going to have to have make sure we protect first the snap. The kick is very important. Wow, that was uh, that drive, Jamie, didn't amount to much at all. No, nah, not at all. That that penalty on Jalen really kind of like killed it. Uh, on that last play, he just tried to make some room for the punter to uh, punt the ball. So it's going to be on the defense to uh, stop Southern from getting uh, any more points. It's going to give Southern some good field position back to return this punt. Here's Brandon Hinton. He's going to let it bounce, and it is fielded at the 38-yard line, and that's where they will take over at Jackson State's 38 with 8.28 to go. Jaguars down 7, 24-17. You're going to have to be careful when that punt in the end zone like that. That I know you want to rugby it, but that up, that personal protector to the right, Coach, he missed that guy from Southern. He just ran flat through there. He just missed the block that time. All right, Jackson State football this season brought to you in part by Olita's Gift Shop. There's no need to haul your gift all the way to Ridgeland. Olita's Gifts and Greeks has a great selection of items for you to choose from, come by Highway 51 in Ridgeland or call 601-856-8886. On first and 10, the Jaguars will go with the running game. Nothing at all there on that run for Southern. Yeah, Jackson State, Tyler Cosby just came up and made a great play right there along with the rest of those Jackson State Tigers. Second down and eight for the Jaguars from the Jackson State 38-yard line. Skelton. The quarterback in the shotgun for Southern as they operate from right to left. Southern in their Columbia blue. They're not powder blue. They're Columbia blue jerseys. And you know I know that, Coach. Yeah, Coach. Uh, Skelton takes a snap, rolls to his right, throws. It is incomplete. Who was he throwing that to? The dirt. <laughs> the dirt. <laughs> He's not accurate, Coach. We just have to stop the run. Our offense needs to light the fire up again, Coach. If we can get some offense going back, you know, and, and, and just a field goal, Coach, he cannot beat us with his arm. Third down and eight for the Jaguars from the Jackson State 38. 7.46 to play here in the third quarter. Skelton back in the shotgun. He has a back to his left. Skelton back to throw, fires down the right side. A man open, but he cannot connect with it. It's going to be fourth down. You're I'm right. Just, I ain't, he can't beat his coach. And, 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 you know, when they get in situations like this, that's when they pull Skelton and put the other quarterback in the game. But, again, coach, we have – now, he was running wide open, coach, so we have to do a better job in the secondary. And I see them out there talking about it. Jamie, what do you think they'll do here, punt it or kick the field goal? We, we was lucky that time, Rob, because the yeah. guy was wide open. But Skelton just not a, 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 a passer. Like you said before, they bring the other quarterback in for uh, passing. And he can also run, too. But I think Skelton just gives you a little bit more uh, athletic ability than the other guys. So we'll see how long they Southern stick with him. Raha on to punt it away. And what is that Jackson State players around that punt, man? Well, they, he was trying to block He was trying to block the, the young man to keep him from getting on onto the returner right there, um, Warren Newman. And that's when they made the play. All right. So it will. We marked at the nine-yard line of Jackson State. We'll take a break and come back. Tigers up 24-17. Back after this on the Tiger Sports Network.
Johnson State with the ball deep in his own end. First and ten. Pass to D.D. Bowie down the left sideline, incomplete. Second down and nine, second and ten now for the Tigers from their own nine. Jones with time. Now he's going to be flushed out of the pocket. Rolls to his left. Throws it out of bounds, bringing up third down. Just flushed out of the pocket right there, Coach. And, and, and the receivers, when your quarterback is scrambling to you, somebody has to go downfield. Somebody has to come to, back to the quarterback. Everybody just stopped and he had no one to throw to. It's called a scramble drill. Okay. All right, Coach Rob J. <laughs> Third down and 10. Jackson State at its nine yard line. The Tigers lead it 24 17. They have not had good field position here in the third quarter at all, Coach. No, they haven't, Coach. And offensively, we, we're kind of sputtering a little bit. we got to pick it up. Jaden with the pitch to Harper, and he's knocked out of bounds after a short gain, so it's going to be fourth down again for the Tigers. Just ran option right. Southern quickly pursued on the option. Now, you have to be careful because the last time Southern, they almost blocked the punt with this rugby-style punt. And it's going to be very important that Crane makes his block. Southern again with an opportunity to have some good field position back deep for the Jaguars. Once again is Brandon Hinton. He's standing near midfield. Oh, it's a snap over the head of the punter, and that is a safety. We just talked about it, Coach. You know, it's very important. you got to snap, protect, kick. Jamie, <laughs> not a good time for that to happen. I'm, I'm, I'm just speechless. I'm well, we, we can't you, beat you, ourselves. Your, your only job is to snap the ball to the punter. Uh, that was just a bad, bad snap on his part. Gleen is only like, what, 5'11 himself, so he doesn't have enough height to jump up to get it. So hope this is not a turning point for us, I mean, for Southern to uh, take over this ball game. So the off defense got to come out and shut them down. Southern pulls to two points closer, trailing 24-19. We're back after this on the Tiger Sports Network. I work for Entergy. And I'm committed to my customers. That means reliable, affordable power. Every year, we save our customers millions buying wholesale power at the best rates. New natural gas power plants ensure lower prices for years to come. And we're giving you smarter technology to take control of your bill. Our rates are among the lowest in the nation. And I'm making sure they stay that way. Because together, 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 we power life. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi partners with businesses across the state to help them be places where people are encouraged to make healthy choices. With the compassion of the cross and the security of the shield, we support you in the places you work every day. Because it's about you, your health, your life. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi. Live healthy, live blue. It's good to be blue. State uh, with a safety as the long snapper snapped the ball over the head of the putter, pulling Southern to within 24-19. Jackson State will kick it away, and it is fielded at the 20 by the Jaguars. He's up to the 30, 40, and he makes a nice return, spins out of a tackle and brought down at the JSU 39-yard line. I'm trying to get that number for you, Rob, but it's hard with these. I was on a night, well, either 19 or 18, Coach. Okay. If it's 18, it's Benjamin Harris. Can't be 19 because that's the quarterback. He ain't returning. Okay. No. <laughs> it's so, just hard because of the, 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 the powder blue jerseys with the gold numbers on them. Wow. So, Southern now at the Jackson State 39-yard line. After that safety, the Jaguars trail 24-19. We have an injured player on the field for Jackson State. Let's check in with Jamie Horton and Alvin Skelly's furniture sideline report. Yes, Rob, I actually think that's the uh, the sellers are that's on the uh, ground from what I can see. I can't see his number, but uh, their favorite is leg, whoever it is. 
So I'm waiting. Coach Hendricks is out there along with some of the medical staff. And it is. It's Sellers. Oh, yeah. And he's getting up, and they're favoring his leg. So hopefully he's all right. He's walking off the field. Hopefully it's okay. Now, last week he was Peter Rode. So I think he got Peter Rode again. <laughs> so Sellers, are, he's, he, he, boy, he's been a good man. He's been, he been taking a little beating this year. Yeah, he's been stepped. I like Salas. He's a good kicker, man. Right now, we need a big defensive stop, Coach, to, to get things going in the right direction. 6.26 <laughs> to go here in the third. Southern at the Jackson State 39-yard line. Jaguars down five now. As Skelton remains in at quarterback. He's in the shotgun here on first down and 10. We're in the third quarter. A little over six minutes to go. And Skelton will keep it, and he should have thought about that because he was hit hard and brought down for no gain. Yeah, Coach, those guys, now we're starting to see C.J. Anderson make some plays down in the middle of Big Vincent McIntosh and the rest of those guys. The defensive line has to continue to make plays. That frees up your linebackers to roam and get to the football. Tyler Casby also on the tackle for Jackson State, the 6'2 junior out of New Orleans, Louisiana. Second down for the Jaguars. They give him a yard on that pickup. Skelton again in the shotgun. Skelton throws a screen pass. The catch is made, and he's trying to fight out of a tackle and finally brought down. It's going to be about two yards shy of the first down at the JSU 30. Just ran a swing route. Uh, Khalil Arrington and a slew of other Jackson State players on the play right there. Running back just ran out on a swing route. Third down and two for the Jaguars at the Jackson State 29-yard line. Jackson State 24, Southern 19. Skelton in the shotgun formation. Two receivers to the right. Skelton takes the snap. He will hand it off, and Southern picks up the first down as they take it inside the Tiger 25 down to the JSU 23-yard line. Just ran a, a power left. Southern just created a new line of scrimmage on our defensive line that particular time. And, you know, we were talking about Skelton missing these guys wide open because we can't continue to let him run wide open because eventually he's going to get lucky and complete one. Southern coming into this game ranked first in the league in rushing offense. Skelton in the shotgun here on first down and 10 from the JSU 23. Skelton will keep it. Skelton inside the 15, inside the 10, inside the 5, and he scores. And Southern recaptures the lead. Just ran quarterback power, coach. Fake the speed sweep, got everything flowing left. He pulled it. The linebacker over scraped the play, and he pulled it and scored the touchdown. Jamie, with that safety, Southern recaptures the lead. Yes, and we've been playing on their side of the field uh, this whole third quarter. So you keep on doing that. You can't. It's just like playing with fire. Uh, they capitalized that time and scored a touchdown. Baraja on to attempt the point after. As the Jaguars take a 25-24 lead, pending the outcome of the point after, and it is good. He's automatic when it comes to that. Yep. Jaguars up by 2, 26-24. We're back after this on the Tiger Sports Network. Down on the kickoff return. Littles returns it up to the 20-yard line, but a flag comes in. And this is our Richard Schwartz. You make the right call, penalty call. Return. Illegal block in the back against the defense. Just has the distance to the goal. 
First down. You can't Man. keep starting in these positions, Coach. No, you can't, Coach. That puts a lot of pressure on your offense, especially when you, you know, you're having a hard time right now getting first downs. Wow, Jamie, that's not a good time for that to happen. Yeah, and I just said a few months ago, we're playing deep in there, on that end of the field, and it's just not just not working out for we got the offense has got to do something to get some continuity and uh, sustain a long drive. 26-24, Southern with the lead. With 4.31 to go here in the third. Keyshawn Harper on the carry, and Harper breaks a tackle. Harper on the open field at midfield. He may go, Coach. He's at the 40, 30, and pushed out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Add 50 more yards to his total. And that's what you need, a big play like Jamie just said. You need a big play to get it going. Now we have momentum and flip back on our side. Let's go down and capitalize on this. That first down brought to you by Pizza Hut as Jackson State gets it near the Penn Street Investments red zone at the southern 20-yard line. Great answer by the Tigers. After that Southern touchdown, Jalen Jones in the shotgun on first and 10. He gives it back to Harper. Harper Ooh. inside the 20, and he's knocked down at the Southern nine-yard line. Man, he, he pulled that thing, Coach, and stopped on the dime and gave that defensive back a little change. He sure did, you Coach. you see that? I sure did, Coach. <laughs> Jackson State now inside the Penn Street Investments red zone. It is first down and goal for the Tigers. Jalen fakes the handoff, and nothing there for Jalen as he's brought down. He may have lost two yards on the play. We just got to play clean football. Dunbar has got to be careful. He's going to get hit with a flag. That's his second time. The official is telling him to calm down. Three-yard loss on the play, so it is second and goal for Jackson State at the Southern 13. 3.20 to go here in the third. Jackson State trailing Southern, 26-24. Jackson State hopes of a Swack East title remains intact, but they have to win out and hope for some help. Jalen Jones will call a timeout. 3:01 to go here in the third. The Tigers. State, the first trail, 26-24. 30 second timeout. Coach, I tell you what. Again, Jackson State needs some help in the, from, of all people, Alcorn. Yes. Down on the reservation, Alcorn is hosting Alabama A&M. And I tell you, Alcorn is coming off a tough loss as well, Coach. Let's check in now with uh, Jamie Horton down on the field, Jamie. Yeah, Rob, the uh, offensive coaches are uh, trying to get some communication. Apparently that timeout. That last time I was because of communication, they got the play in late, so he left Jalen no other choice but to uh, call the timeout. All right, let's take a look at your energy. Swag scoreboard update. Alabama A&M leading Alcorn 28-27. Is that over? They say end of the fourth. End of the fourth, Coach. Is that over? I don't know. <laughs> if that's over, so Jackson State chances at the Swag title. Because they ain't going to lose the Valley. Jackson State going with the reverse, and Newman is brought down at the 15-yard line. It's going to be third and goal. Wow. Again, when you're going up against the Southern defense, the best thing that you've done, we've done all night was go right at them, Coach. Not a whole lot of trickery. Line up. We're throwing the football well. You're getting downhill. You're getting to the edge on them. And other scores, Grambling beat Mississippi Valley 40-0. Alabama A&M leading Alcorn 28-27. I don't know if that's over or not. Here on third and goal, Jalen Jones with room to run. Jones inside the 10, and he is brought to – he, he could have kept going, kept but he going, stopped. Coach, tuck that football away. Now you get in a situation, now you take the points, or do you go for it? He's going to take the points. Yeah, because you'll take the lead here with the points. Correct. And now uh, you can – Hope for your defense to hold Southern. Southern has played, like Jamie said, they have played the entire third quarter on Jackson State's half of the field. And they have, Coach. I mean, but if you go back and look at it, penalties, Jackson State, we really hurt ourselves. Now, this is Gleaton to attempt this point after Salazar is hurt. This will be a 25-yard field goal. It is up, and it is good. And the Tigers take the lead. 
at 27-26. Back and forth we go. We take a break and come back after this on the Tigers Sports Network. If you want an adventure, you can climb a mountain or ride two buggies through the desert. Or you could just head to your neighborhood Zaxby's. Introducing the Smokehouse Cheddar Barbecue and Southwest Chipotle Filet Sandwich Meals. They're brand new, and they'll take your taste buds to wild and exciting new places. Both feature our famous hand-breaded chicken, and they're both available for a limited time. Only at your neighborhood Zaxby's. And don't miss Jumanji the next level, only in theaters. Hey, Tigers. Know what today is? Today is your day to connect with AARP Mississippi. We're making a difference in communities all throughout the state, such as helping you stay ahead of the bad guys at our fraud prevention workshops and shred Take advantage of our financial education to help you secure your retirement. Even use our caregiving resources to help you take care of your loved ones. We're on your team, helping you take on today. So learn more at aarp.org ms. Kickoff, Southern University returns it all the way for a touchdown. Wow. Wow. They fake the reverse, coming back to Jackson State sideline, and they kept going for the touchdown, Coach. Jamie, a heartbreaker as Brandon <laughs> Hinton returned it all the way for the touchdown. Yes, Rob. I'm on this side of that, and I saw it the way he was setting it up. Uh, he actually, it was I think it was design play for him too, to give it to him. But he kept it, ran around the corner. All of our guys was on this side of the field, and he ran it back for the touchdown. And just like that, the Jaguars recaptured the lead. That point after is good, and Southern takes the lead at 33-27. We'll take another break and come back on the Tiger Sports Network. <laughs> take a knee at the five-yard line? I actually think he called for a fair catch. You know, and the, I think they don't change the rules now. Well, you can call it a fair catch within the 20-yard line uh, rim. So okay. I think he, I think he, he's going to be spotted at the 20-yard line. Yeah, from up here, it looked like he took a knee, Coach. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I know he didn't take a knee at the five. <laughs> it, it, it actually spotted at 25, so it would be our ball first and 10. So the Jaguars on that 80-yard kickoff return. Leads at 33-27. Jalen Jones remains in at quarterback for Jackson State. Here on first and 10, a minute 24 to go in the third. Jones hands it off to Harper. Harper trying to go off that right, left side rather. Picks up about four yards to the 29. Just ran the outside zone, Coach, and Harper got downhill on it. This is a crucial possession right here for Jackson State. No, you good, Coach. Coming up on a minute to go here in the third. Jackson State trailing 33-27 to the Jaguars. They give it back to Harper. Harper has been running the ball fine. I think it's going to be a face mask on Southern that point. Yeah, Coach, it's, it's getting very physical. Just keep our cool. 
Well, I'll tell you what, it's going to be a very interesting game, Coach, because Southern has about met their match in scoring 33 points per game, and we're at ours, so mm -hmm. it's going to get interesting. Now, Richard Schwartz, you make the right call. A face mask penalty on the Jaguars will give JSU the first down. And the Tigers get closer to midfield. As they put it, uh, they mark it at the 46-yard line. JSU first and 10 from its own 46. Tigers moving the ball from left to right. 44 seconds to go here in the third. Tigers down 33-27. Again, they give it to Harper. And this time, he has stopped in his tracks on the tackle for the Jaguars. That's Calvin Lunkins again. Again, they keep trying to run that power play to the right, and our offensive line is not picking that one up on that particular play. But, you know, you got an athletic quarterback like Jalen and all this, these skilled guys for Jackson State. It only takes, you know, one big play to change the tempo real quick. And that will end the third quarter, Coach. Jackson State trailing 33-27. Uh, I'm sorry. We're back with more after this on the Tiger Sports Network. Technology will power amazing career opportunities for our children. But today, less than 18% of our public high schools offer computer science. That has to change. The C Spire Tech Movement works with parents, educators, and influencers to advocate for computer science in each classroom. Let's build a future where Mississippi isn't just keeping up. It's leading the way. Learn more at cspire.com slash techmovement. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi partners with our communities to promote living healthy. With the compassion of the cross and the security of the shield, we're empowering you to take control of your personal wellness journey and to find the joy of being active at every age and helping you build proud, healthy communities with a heart of hospitality because it's about you, your health, your life. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi. It's good to be blue. Start the fourth quarter of play. Jackson State operating from right to left. Here on second down and 10. Jalen fakes the handoff. Jalen takes it across midfield and he slips down and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to say it was down. So he's going to be about two yards shy of the first down. Yeah, again, Coach, he's going to have to learn just to get behind those shoulder pads. You know, and go ahead and get that first down. He's doing a whole lot of cutting. Jalen with 97 yards rushing in this ball game. He's over 100 now after that run. Keep Keyshawn Harper, folks. Look at those numbers. 206 yards rushing for Keyshawn Harper. Third down and one for Jackson State. And Jalen, oh, he lost the ball out of bounds. I don't think he picked up the first down, Coach. He didn't, Coach. And the ball is going to probably be spotted where it went out of bounds. Jamie, this may be, this is a fumble out of bounds, and he was a yard shy of the first down. It, it, it looks that way. But, Rob, I have a very special guest down here on the sidelines that wants to say something to you. Hey, Daddy, it's Madison. I know you're a Jackson State alumni, but I want to let you know, go Jaguars! Go to university! <laughs> I know she did. I know she did. <laughs> Look, hey, Rob. Yeah, you didn't do a very good job. <laughs> Turn to a Jaguar, Rob. Turn to a Jaguar. Doing all that hooping and hollering. All right, it's fourth down now. Jackson State will go for it. Fourth and four. Wow. What was third and one is now fourth and four. Jackson State with it at Southern's 48-yard line. Make it the 47. Jalen in the shotgun. Gives it to Harper. Harper, he's not going to get much at all. He didn't get it, Coach. Coach, it, it, it's fourth down, Coach. You can't run that kind of play. You got to move the football, move the pocket around, give him an opportunity to make some plays. Southern has, has, has pounded us the last few stops right there, Coach. Jackson State does not convert on fourth down, so they'll turn it over to the Jaguars as we start the fourth quarter. Yeah, I don't know, Coach. I don't know about running that play, but... You got to get the ball to the Jaguars in really good field position. Yeah, you are, Coach. Just question that one right there. 
Southern at its own 46-yard line. Skelton remains in at quarterback for the Jaguars. Not much of a thrower, but he has hurt JSU running the football. Skelton hands it off to Ben. Ben fighting for additional yardage as he was hit at the line of scrimmage. Takes it into Jackson State territory at the Tiger 48-yard line. And I tell you something all night, Coach. We have not thrown a screen all night long, Coach. Southern is getting upfield very fast on us. We have not thrown. We need to probably work some screen game. Coach Skelton has run for 131 yards in this game. And the first down pick up here for the Jags. As they take it to the Jackson State 40-yard line. Alcorn leading. Alabama A&M is something that uh, we need to happen, but you have to win this game to stay in it. First down for the Jags at the Jackson State 41. Skelton throws a man wide open, but that catch is out of bounds. He was wide open at the 20, but Skelton's throw led him out of bounds. How are they getting open like that, Coach? Coach, it's just the coverage, man. I mean, you, you, the number three receiver is the one that's running wide open. That means the safety is not picking up the number three receiver. Jackson State 0 for 2 on fourth down conversions. It is second down and 10 for the Jags at the JSU 41-yard line. Still plenty of time in this game. 13 minutes, 29 seconds to go here in the fourth. And in motion from right to left. Skelton fakes the handoff, and he's going to be hit and brought down after a gain of about three. So it's going to be third down and seven for the Jags. C.J. Holmes on the tackle right there. Coach, that's that same play they've been running where they pull that guy and pull him around for the first, for the quarterback power. So third and seven for the Jags from the JSU 37-yard line. Skelton. In shotgun formation. You got Ben standing to his right. Southern fans urging on the offense. Jackson State fans urging on the defense. Skelton with time. Throws. And it is incomplete in the end zone. Let me bring up fourth down. So great job by the defense. Not allowing Southern to get any points. Unless Dawson Odom decides to go for it here, Coach. Look like he's keeping them on the field, but Demetrius Vance almost had an interception. We have a Jackson State player down. And that looks like that's that corner to the top over there. All right, look like Ryan Thayer, coach, may be down. This oh. injury report is brought to you by McCullum Physical Therapy, located 5225 Highway 18 West in Jackson. Did you know that most sports injuries can be prevented by simply wearing the right gear, strengthening your muscles, increasing your flexibility, using proper techniques, taking breaks, and not playing through pain. At McCullum Physical Therapy, we treat all types of sports injuries from muscle strains, tendonitis, the ligament tears of, but not limited to back, ankle, knee, and shoulder. If you have recently been injured playing the sport that you love, give McCullum Physical Therapy a call at 601-487-8456 and let their team of therapists get you back in the game. Jackson State trailing 33-27, but it is fourth down, <coughs> excuse me, and seven for the Jaguars at the JSU 41-yard line. And it looks like uh, Austin Odom is going to punt this away, Coach. Yeah, Coach, he's going to go ahead and punt it. But you got to be mindful, Coach Odom. Right? Very tricky here, Coach. Be tricky. Warren Newman standing back at his 10-yard line. Jackson State thoroughly dominated the first half. It's been Southern here in the second half. Big mistake by the Tigers as the long snapper snapped the ball over the head of the punter. There's a kick, and it will bounce into the end zone for the touchback. We'll take a break, and we'll be back after this on the Tigers Sports Network. <laughs>
10 for Jackson State. Jalen Jones keeps the football and picks up two yards on the run as he is driven out of bounds, bringing up second down and eight for the Tigers. Coming up on 12 minutes to go here in the fourth. Tigers down five. Jones fakes the handoff, throws across the middle, and it is incomplete. You know, it's just a matter of time, Coach. It's, you know, he has not been consistent this whole second half. You know, it's just a matter of time to see when will they pull the trigger and, and go with Ponder. It's just like, he, he, I don't know, offensively, we cannot get in, in the rhythm or get in sync right now. 12-15 to go in the fourth quarter. Jackson State trailing Southern 33-27. Jalen Jones in the shotgun. Three receivers to the left, to the right, rather. Jones rolls to his right, throws. The catch is made, and that is a first down as Crowell picks it up at the 31-yard line. That's the first down brought to you by Pizza. Nice play, bro. Yeah, Coach, I mean, great. Just run it, ran the curl route. You know, offensive guy to pick it up. Jackson State at its own 30-yard line. They need a sustained drive right here. Still plenty of time to go. Under 12 minutes to play. Southern 33, Jackson State 27. Jalen hands it off to Harper. Harper tripped up at the line of scrimmage and brought down after a gain of a yard. Just trying to run inside zone right there, coaching. At the point of attack, it was like my right guard and center did not make the block. Tonight around 32 degrees, Coach, so it's going to be cold tonight. Second down and eight here for Jackson State. Again, Jalen Jones in shotgun formation, gives it to Jordan Johnson. Jordan picks up no yards at all on that play. Southern, the best rushing uh, offense in the conference and the best rushing defense in the conference. Well, I tell you, Coach, they're going to have to throw the football on second down to shorten the game. They know you're going to run it on second down. And then you're forced to throw it on third down. Third and long now for Jackson State. JSU 6 of 12 on third down conversions in this game. Third and nine for the Tigers. There's a snap. Jones back to throw. Going deep down the right side. Oh, and it's incomplete off the fingertips. Of Crowell, but a flag is. I think it's going to be offside on Southern. Well, yeah, offside. Jamie, so that's a big break for JSU. Yeah, when the uh, when the guy from Southern jumped, everybody on the sideline started saying offside, free play. Offside, offside free play. Defense, number thirty-two, five-yard penalty, replay, third down. Now you just have to do something to try to make sure we can get this first down, coach. was on Jordan Lewis, the sophomore from Ocala, Florida. If I pronounce that right, Coach. Ocala, Florida. You have a good name, Coach? Negative. <laughs> Maybe Brown will get that before, Coach. I don't know. Brown have been to 22 cities. I don't know how many cities at time. <laughs> Do that, Coach. Third down now for Jackson State, third and five. Jalen Jones, he zips out of a tackle, but a flag comes in. He picks up the first down at the Southern 45. This may be holding on Jackson State. Hopefully it's not. And it is. Here's the Richard Schwartz. You make the right call. Hold it. Offense, number 60. Our penalty, hit third down. Samari Ketchens. So it's going to be third down again, though. Yeah, Coach, I mean, just going to have to battle defensively, just going to have to continue to play great defense. Wow. So what was third and five is now third and 15. Okay, what? Southern's defense has done a good job of slowing down Jalen Jones. Oh, no, they have, yeah, Coach, and that's what I'm saying. Do you go with the pure passer, which is pondering, to try to get the, the sticks moving and get a spark? Third down, 15, Jackson State from his own 27. Jones back to throw. 
Fires deep down the side. It is batted in the air and incomplete. Wow, Jamie, it wasn't a good drive for Jackson State. Yeah, that, that penalty uh, on that uh, that last play was a was a drive killer. So, like D.A. said, we're just going to depend on the defense to either get us some points, a turnover, or something, and try to turn this game around. All right, now you're looking at the clock. 9.40 to go. Yeah. Anything under 10 minutes, Coach, when you're down, time is not on your side. You're going to have to make some tough decisions right here. Tiger's going to have to punt it away. Good kick. Goes out of bounds at the 31-yard line. 9.33 to go. We're back after this on the Tiger Sports Network. The Jaguars will run the football as they try to work on that clock, pick up two yards. Here's Skelton again on the run. He picks up the first down and even more as he takes it into Jackson State's territory at the Tigers' 35-yard line. The defense brings him down, Coach. Skelton just running that quarterback sweep, a quarterback power just bouncing to the outside. Under nine minutes to play here in the fourth. Southern at the Jackson State 35-yard line. Moving the ball from left to right. They will hand it off again, and not much there. Gain of about two yards, but the clock continues to run. Khalil Aronson on the tackle right there, Coach. Just ran that inside zone again. You know, Southern's best plays tonight have been running that quarterback power with the skeleton. It's a one-possession game. You don't want to give Southern an opportunity to get a field goal here, Coach, so... It's second down and eight for the Jaguars. Jackson State showing blitz. Skelton will keep it again. And he's brought down after taking it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. It's going to be third and short now for the Jaguars. Yeah, you're absolutely correct, Coach. It's a one-possession game. You still have an opportunity if you can get a big stop. As long as it's one possession, you have an opportunity. Clock continues to run. We're under eight minutes now in the fourth quarter. Third down and four for the Jaguars from the Jackson State 29-yard line. Southern 33, Jackson State 27. Skelton back to throw. Throws underneath. The catch is made as a first down at the JSU 15-yard line. No flags on the play. C.J. Holmes made the tackle, Coach, but he had to stay deep because his guy pressed vertically. He had to stay deep on that guy, and that left the one in the flat open. Yeah, two defensive backs went with one person. That was a blown coverage. All right, Jamie. It's not looking good now for Jackson State with 7-11 to go. No, if the coaches, uh, I'm standing right beside the coach. The coaches went off on uh, number 14 that time but he said that was your assignment that was your man and you left him all alone and like D.A. said it was a blown assignment they give it to Ben Ben up the middle Ben takes it to the JSU five yard line and the Jaguars pouring it on right now with under seven minutes to go that was Josh Baker who you talking about Jamie yes Josh Baker second down and two for the Jags from the Jackson State six yard line 
Skelton. In shotgun formation, gives it, uh, actually fakes it, and he'll take it in for the touchdown. That might do it there, Coach. Yeah, Coach, again, we, 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 nobody had containment. When they're running the offense like this, somebody has to take quarterback. It's just like running option. It's just front side zone read. Southern extends to a 39-27 lead after that touchdown run by Skelton. Depending the outcome of this point after. Southern coming into this game averaging 33 points a game. And they have reached that and then some. Baraha on to attempt the point after. It is up and it is good. Jaguars 40, Jackson State 27. We're back after this on the Tiger Sports Network. Did you know that over 90% of small businesses that lose their computer data due to a disaster will close within a year? Protect your computers with Team Logic IT. Team Logic IT will proactively monitor your systems 24-7, bag up your data, protect against viruses, and respond immediately when there's a problem. Keep your small business in business. Call Harold Loving at 601-878-1900 or visit us online at teamlogicit.com slash jacksonms. Dressed homes wearing this fall? Miss Kelly's Furniture. Cozy up to the latest styles from classic to contemporary and everything in between. Dress up your home and save as much as $300 and spread your payments out over five years with no money down. Play with patterns, add some drama, or just some finishing touches. With $300 off and five years special financing, updating for fall isn't just easy, it's so much fun. Happy fall, y'all, from Miss Kelly's. Jaguars extend to a 40-27 lead with 6.24 to go. Josh Littles will field a kick and take a knee at the five-yard line. <laughs> the key right now, Coach, you're going to have to strike quick. If you can get a touchdown, the key doesn't fit. <laughs> Let's check in. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You got time on Jamie, you have time on the clock, Jamie. Yeah, you still got time, Rob. <laughs> I'm just getting frustrated, man. There you go. The key, yeah, and, the key and, don't fit, man. And there's and it's a lot of frustration on the sideline right now. Blown assignments. Coach Hendricks is getting on Alexander Shaw. He said that was his man uh, on that lay when Skelton scored that touchdown. Just youth is coming out on some of these guys. But, I, you know, the future still looks bright for us. And the game's not over yet. You never know what can happen. All right, Jackson State now at his own five-yard line after the return man took a knee at the five. <laughs> First down and ten, Jalen Jones remains in at quarterback. He'll hand it off to Jordan Johnson, trying to squeeze through off that right side, and he picks up about two yards on that play. Something coming into this game almost uh, last in uh, rushing, I'm, I'm sorry, passing offense and, and, and uh, passing, and uh, they've scored 40 points. Well, I'll tell you what, Coach, you, you don't need to call plays like it's over. You have six minutes to go. Pick the tempo up. Throw the football, man. Throw the football. All right, second down and eight, and they keep running. They run into football like they got the lead. It's like they're just trying to run the clock out. It's okay, we lost. Continue to try to score. Um, I just get frustrated. I'm sorry, Coach. All right, third down now, and two yards to go for the first down. Jones remains in the shotgun formation, and he has no one to hand it to, and he's in trouble, and he goes down. So it's going to be fourth down. I, I mean, Coach, look like we just, this fourth down, we ran the football three straight times. You know, it's like we're trying to milk the clock. Southern is not going to let up. They're going to keep trying to score the football. And this is like we just we just gave up on that drive. And it's not the kids, coach. It's the, it's the play calling right there. That's serious. Wow, man. I, I, don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand it, coach. I mean, it's like you and Jamie said, still plenty of time left in the game. And you just run it three times. I, I don't understand it, coach. Maybe it's a cold. Mike Leak will kick it. It's a nice kick. As it bounces 
across midfield to the 48-yard line. 439 to go. We'll take a break. Jackson State trailing 40 to 27. This is the Tiger Sports Network. sidelines got in the players box and was trying to say something to coach Hendricks and the state trooper like grabbed him around his collar and like threw him over the UFC and told him to leave so I don't know exactly what was said but I asked the security guard and he said that he was uh, cursing at the coach and he's not supposed to be in the box anyway so they're doing security checks down here to make sure everybody's uh, legal with their right credentials one of the one of the <laughs> one of the southern players no a fan one of the, one of the Jackson State fans, right? fans. Okay, and see that that has been my problem. Yeah, he, he, too many he, people he was, down there on the he field, was, man. He was actually inside the box. I'm like me and Ed is standing over here, like right on the yeah. on the twenty. Uh -huh. And this guy was like up there near the front where the coaches was, and the state trooper like literally grabbed him. He was, I think he was cursing at Coach Hendricks about something about play calling or something. I don't know oh, okay. exactly and, what it was. You know, you're right. And see, that has been my problem all year. How do these people get down there on the field, and then when we're down there doing our jobs, they stop us at every turn, and then you have a fool that goes down there and do something like that. I, I, I can't understand it. It's too many people on the field not doing nothing. They're, not, ch they're, not, they're not checking the right people, Coach. All right, third down and long for the Jaguars. That ball batted down at the line of scrimmage. 3.43 to go here in the fourth quarter. I mean, you just it's just too many people down there, man. I mean, I know you have Jackson State fans down there, but some people, if you're not working, you don't need to be down there. They stop us at every turn. Yeah, they do you that. You can't get here. You can't get there. And we got cameras and lights. and It's, it's just, It burns me up, man. And then you got a guy down there probably with no pads. And the question again is, how did he get down there? I have no idea. All right, Jackson State forces Southern into a punt with 3.42 to go. Still plenty of time, Coach. Yeah, but Coach, it's, 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 it's plenty of time, but there's no need to burn your timeouts if you're not going to force the football downfield. You, you know, you run it on first and second, then you throw it on third down with everybody in America know that you're going to have to throw the football. Jackson State down 13 with 3.33 to go. You got to get a score here. Maybe get an onside kick. Jackson State is good at doing that. So, you know, it's not over yet. I don't think they need to play like it's over. Well, that's what they're doing, Coach. But it's not the kids again. They can only run what the coach called, Coach. That last series, if we got, if we don't, if we run the same thing that we ran the last series, three straight run plays, coach, it's like we're just trying to run the clock out and say let's get ready for all corn. Right, that punt pushes Jackson State back, and it's on seven yard line. Jalen Jones remains in at quarterback with 3:33 to go. Jones fires underneath it is incomplete. Looking to get it to Crowell, but bring up second and ten. You see, that's, that's probably going to be on Dunbar coach. That's, that's his. They may throw him out of the game because they've been telling him all night to cut it out, coach. Just discipline, coach. The play. 
personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Jack State, number 51. Half the distance to the goal, second down. And that's what you don't need, Coach. You're already struggling offensively. And, and he's been, the fish has been telling him this the whole game, and he constantly does that. That's just not smart. That's Cedric Dunbar, Jack State's offensive lineman. So it's going to be second down and 15. Jackson State at its own four-yard line. Jones in the end zone is going to step up and take off. He runs across the 10, across the 20, and he picks up a first down. Brought to you by Pizza Hut. Just scrambled out of the pocket, Coach, and ran for the first down. 3.22 to go. He runs out of bounds to stop the clock. Tigers down 13, Coach. They get a big strike right here. You get a big strike right here and get the ball back. It's not quite over yet. Still plenty of time. Three minutes is a lot of time, Coach. Yeah, plenty of time, but why is the clock still running? He was out of bounds. Uh, I don't know. Again, they fired underneath the catches made by Bowie. And he goes out of bounds. Just threw a hitch route to, to Bowie right there, made the play. You know, we're not in a position to continue to talk trash. Get back to the line, let's make play. Discipline, discipline. Tigers have it up now to the 35-yard line in their own territory. First down and 10, another Pizza Hut first down. Under three minutes to play now here in the fourth quarter. Jones back to throw, fires underneath again to D.D. Bowie. And he tries to fight for additional yardage instead of running out of bounds and keep the clock rolling. <laughs> Just get what you can get, get out of bounds. You have one timeout. That's where somebody that's coaches on the sideline, he can tell them, hey, this is down, this is the situation. You know, catch it, get out of bounds. Second down and five for Jackson State from its own 40-yard line. 2.20 to go in county. Jones, pump face, now rolls to his right. Looking, he's got a man open way down the field. He didn't see him, but the catch is made at midfield, and Jackson State on the move as they have it inside the Jaguars' 30-yard line down to the 29. To the play. It's not over yet. Yeah, it's not over, Coach, but you have to what they're doing now. You should have done three series ago. Throw the football downfield, Coach. 2.02 to go. Jackson State at the Jaguar 30-yard line. Tigers down 13. 40 to 27. Jones claps his hands, and the official stop play. Ball start on Offense, number 75. Five-yard penalty. First down. All right, number 75, that's uh, Kenneth Bouton. Bouton. Right, let's check in now with Jamie. Jamie? I'm not Rock, it's, 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 it's so noisy down here right now. The, the, the sideline is just going berserk. But a few minutes ago, when Cedric Dunbar came off that field, Coach Otis Ridley, the offensive line coach, said some things I can't say on the radio. But trust me, I don't think he'll do that ever again in this in this game because he went off on it. First and 15, Jayla Jones has a man open at the 20 to throw down to the 20. Did he make the catch, Coach? Yeah, he made the catch, Coach. Now we get to the line of scrimmage. They're taking it from him, Coach. You're going to say he did not catch him? I know Coach Henry doesn't like that. He's saying it's incomplete. 119 to go here in the fourth quarter. Southern by 13, 40 to 27. Get a big strike here. Get the ball back. Second down and 15 for Jackson State from the Jaguars, 34-yard line. Jaden, look, look, has time. He's going to take off, and he's going to run out of bounds at the Jaguar 28-yard line. Just pulled it down and scrambled to the right. Nobody open at the receiver position. Clock stops at 112. It's going to be third down and eight. Now for Jackson State. Tigers with the ball at the Jaguar. 26. Don't make it to, yeah, 26 yard line. 
Boom. Third down for JSU. Jones in the shotgun. He's got Harper standing to his left. Jones is sacked. It's going to be fourth down now. We have another skirmish down on the field. But is that a Southern player hurt? It looks like a Southern player is down, but they need to get the play call because the clock is going to start back running, Coach. It's got to look like Big 97. It's 80, what is it, 8 or 9 or 6. I don't know. I can't tell you these numbers for Southern. Is that an 8? It's like 87. 87. Dawson Odom out there on the field for Southern. Jackson, that's the final time out of the game. Clock operator, please reset the game clock to one minute and four seconds. 104. 104, coach, and uh, with this, if this stands the way it is, Jackson State's hopes of the Swag East title will go by the wayside. And with all points win over Alabama AM, it means the Braves will win the Swag East again. What is that? Five in a row? I stopped counting after three. Well, I'll tell you, Coach, you know, we go back this second half, I thought we were extremely flat, Coach. You know, we just got to find ways to finish ball games. All right, let's check back in now with Jamie Horton, Jamie. Well, Rob, it's a somber moment down here right now. It's kind of quiet, and some of the fans are getting hyped. But, uh, look, we, we, it's, it's one-on-one left. It's still hope left. I'm trying to just be positive here. If we can just go quick right here. Thank you. I'm with you. I think they can I'm with you, Jamie. I'm with you, Jamie. But I'm, I'm just frustrated, Jamie, that the drive where we ran the football three straight down. Yes. And we didn't try to get anything. Done. Yes. And that that, me, that's not Jackson State football. And that reminded me of the drive last week in Alabama AM where we did the same thing. So we. Fourth down. And the connection to Bowie. Bowie inside the 10, 5, and he's pushed out of bounds. It's not over yet, guys. So it's a first down for Jackson State. But, but D.A., I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. Yeah. Um, it just seems like, you know, it's, it's, you got a whole lot to do with play calling. It's not, the, it's not the key's fault. They're just doing what the coach is telling them to do. So, and, and all season I have been very positive, Coach, but just to watch three run plays in a row with four minutes to go in the game, it's like we were just giving up. We'll run the clock out. And that's yes. just not, that's not right. Hey, Jackson, I, hey guys, I, I, I got a, I got a, uh, hold on. Here's Jalen Jones. Rolls, throws. It is a touchdown. Touchdown by Jackson State. Rameek Wallace, five yards out. So, with 50 seconds to go, it's not quite over yet, Coach. It's Tigers not, down coach. seven, and then the outcome of this point after. And I'm hoping it can play out just like you said, onside kick. We get the ball back, Coach. But I agree on that last series where they just ran the ball three times. I know you can move the ball on this team. We just didn't even try to throw the football, Coach. So this is Salazar to attempt the field goal to pull JSU to within six. There's a snap. Ball placed down. The kick is up, and it is. Is it good? It's good. All right, Tigers trail 40-34 with 49.8 seconds to go. We're back after this on the Tiger Sports Network. The greatest impact we can have on the future is teaching our children to live healthy at home, at play, and at school. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi partners with our schools to support them in being places where our children learn about healthy habits and where they are empowered to achieve full academic potential. With the compassion of the cross and the security of the shield, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi is building a healthy Mississippi. I work for energy. And I'm committed to my customers. That means reliable, affordable power. Every year, we save our customers millions buying wholesale power at the best rates. New natural gas power plants ensure lower prices for years to come. And we're giving you smarter technology to take control of your bill. Our rates are among the lowest in the nation. And I'm making sure they stay that way. Because together, 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 we power life. State now will go with the onside kick. And 
the official stop play for the moment. Southern calls a timeout. Tigers down six, 40-34. Let's check in now with Jamie Horton and our Miss Kelly Furniture sideline report. Rob, I, I have a very special guest. He said that he wanted to get on this radio and, and deliver a, a, a message to us. So here, here he goes. He's gonna introduce yourself, sir. What's going on now? I'm Michael Jones, uh, all the way from Richmond, Virginia. Uh, my, my son is Jalen Jones, the quarterback. Look, I listen to y'all when I can't get down here, and I promise you, it's like watching football with my uncles. I mean, y'all entertain, y'all inform, y'all educate, and just just keep doing what y'all are doing and keep representing these young men for you tell all. Man, we appreciate that, man. Look, we, 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 we love your son, too, man. So, you know, we appreciate you coming out here listening to us, too. All right, there you go, Rob. That's all right. Yeah, I really appreciate that. But see, you know, what he got to understand is Coach Asbury get all mad and start eating more and more. We get mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have picked up 30 pounds. I'm pretty bad. <laughs> all right, Jackson State. If they can get this onside kick, Coach, it's not over. Salazar boots it. It is recovered by the Jaguars. And that will do it. You know the most amazing part that I have to do, Ron? I'm going back to back room. <laughs> yeah. We might have a roadblock. I, I, I tell you, the play that really killed us was that yeah, kickoff that return. That kickoff return. You eliminate that game, we win. Wow. Yeah. But we talked in the pregame show, Kobe. The key to victory, special teams is part of it. Yeah. 49 seconds to go. Southern will go into the victory formation. Next week, Jackson State will host Alcorn State to wrap up the season as the Tigers will lose this one. It's been a season of ups and downs for JSU. I think more downs and ups when you look at all of the games JSU could have won this year. This being one of them. This is one of them, Coach. This is one of them, man. We just, they, gotta, they have to snap it one more time, Coach. Jackson State will drop to four and seven overall, three and three in conference play. That'll do it. The Jaguars extend their winning streak over Jackson State. And uh, we talk about all the skirmishes that have gone on in this game. You have to be careful tonight here. Yeah, but I'm official. They're getting out of here, Coach. I don't know if they're going to let these guys shake hands. They're just going to tell Southern to go to the locker room. The best thing to do is probably let both schools go to the locker room, Coach. So Southern improves to four, uh, five and one in the SWAC, seven and four overall. We're going to take a break and come back and hear from Coach Hendrick after this on the Tiger Sports Network.